Boop. 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 Beep. Bop. Bibbity. Bobbity. Boobity. I think we're good. I think we are good. I think we are. I am a mess. I feel like a mess. Ha, 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 ha. Hello, Valerie. Hello. I don't even know what to call you. In TikTok, it's you're like a dot, a line, dot. Hello, Alyssa. Hello, Peppy. Hello, Olivia. Hello, Hyatt Slex. Hello, Krista. Hello, Chris. Hello, Chicken and Quaffles. Hello, Haley. Hello, Roy. Hello, Sam. Hello, M. Movie time was great. The only little was that apparently there's a 50 person limit in the discord channel that i made and you can up that by having people boost the channel um but that would take a lot of boosts so i think for the future we're going to try next we're going to try on google meet i believe we're going to try google meet hello lost in music hello passive hello a uh, choice i'm so sorry olivia hello jesse hello victoria Hello, Lou. Hello, Alyssa. Hello, Nadia. Hello, Rika. But the rest of it was really cool. Um, it was nice because, like, I got to get on camera and, like, just talk with you guys for a couple minutes. Then we watched the movie. Like, I got off camera. We just had the movie on. And we were all chatting and chat about the movie. And then afterwards, I went back on the camera and we chatted about the movie a little bit before we got off. So we are definitely, yes, Mama, thank you. So we are going to look into, uh, I believe Persevere showed me that I can do a Google Meet one and we can have like a, like hundreds of people in there. So that should be better. Um, so I'm going to look into that. I'm going to test that out for next time because I definitely want to do more movie nights. I hear one of my cats in the background doing something in the back. <laughs> Hello from Portugal. Hello, Nadia. Hello, uh, Anna. Hello, Alex from Mexico. Turtle, thank you so much for following. Hello, Dana Do. It was terrifying. <laughs> There's parts of it that really scared me, but I think it was actually a little bit less scary because we were chatting with people and hanging out, so it wasn't so bad. The next movie I want to do, I don't know. I was potentially thinking about keeping it alien-themed, and someone said to try Fire in the Sky, which is an, another kind of the same one, but I'm not really sure. Hello, Beth. Hello, Gorgeous. Hello, Nikki. I can't do movie nights on my lives because I can't legally show a movie like on live stream. It's I can't do that. Hello, Vicky. We had movie night a little bit earlier, just a few hours ago, actually. Hello, Olivia. Hello, Melly Melly. Hello, Gabriella and Vicky and Cawson Bailey and Chantel and Stephanie. I love the movie. It really makes me think about what's really out there. I believe everything we've seen in that movie. Same. Good. I'm so glad you had fun, Tazzy. Hey, Tanya. Hey, Jen. I love you, too. How do you join Discord? It is... Everyone is welcome in Discord. TikTok, this is the Discord link right here. Um, Chris, can you put the Discord link in YouTube, please? Everyone is welcome. Please come join. Join us in Discord. I do not have a Patreon. No. Hello, hello. Hello, Pamela. Wait, who said I... Finally sent in a story. Olivia, what is the name of your story? I will write you down. You will be number numero uno. Hello, Jem. Thank you, Chris. We wa I watched it on Amazon Prime, but we watched it together in my Discord. But the problem with that was there were only 50 people were allowed in there, and I felt bad because more than 50 people were trying to come in. So we're going to try Google Meet next time so we can have more people hang out. Because movie night, it was really fun. I really did being able to, I really did enjoy being able to like watch a movie with you guys and like chat about it. It was really fun. I felt like we were hanging out with friends. If there wasn't so many of us, we could like all put our little cameras out so we could see each other and talk. But I think that that would kind of get very overwhelming with all the voices and trying to watch the movie. So I think that the typing in the chat is probably the best. Hello, Maddie B. Hello, Heather. Hello, Alex. Hello, Amy. Hello, Nadia. Hello, Cheryl. Hello, Kayla. You did drop really funny memes. Hello, I adopted too many kids. <laughs> Thank you for following. Hello, Dylan. Hello, Lady Raver. 
Oh, cool. I'd love to join. Nice. Yes. Any announcements about future movie nights and stuff will be going out in my Discord. So make sure you are in the Discord, please. Yes, Kali's walking around in the background. And Tootie is sleeping on the bed. The parts I got to be a part of were very comforting. Definitely would be great again. Yes, I missed the movie, but I was catching up on previous lives, so I'm still happy. <laughs> Glowing eyes in my closet. Oh, my God. Okay. Glowing eyes i'm gonna put glowing eyes in closet and we will figure it out wish i would have had better service earlier totally gonna make my husband watch it with me tonight oh my god good luck good luck hello brooke what is the name of your story brooke i will write you down anyone who is um hi mimi i like how you call us cousins nadine my story is called punched by a demon <gasps> woke up at three in the morning to make it oh my god punched by a demon did you just send that in like last night at three in the morning who um i was trying not to be scared <laughs> tanya i adopted too many kids as well i accidentally clicked out of the movie and then it was too full i know that was the only problem was it, it was um Apparently, there was like a limit of people that could be in there. It was only 50. So we're going to try Google Meet next time. Hi, Eliza. I forgot what it's called, but it's a demon one. Okay, well, I'm going to need to find it. And I have 7,000 emails. That's a literal number. It's not, a, it's not an exaggeration. So if you could either look at what it's called and tell me or tell me like the first part of your email address and I can try to find it from there. Hey, Natal Natalie. I almost called you Natalia. I don't know why. I hope they punched back. Hopefully my power doesn't shut off. We're having a bad storm. Oh my goodness. Hey, uh, to you, May, for life. <laughs> okay. I got my nose pierced done this morning. I got it done in my septum. <gasps> Lady Raven, are you in Discord? I really want to see. Can you send us a picture? I'm sorry, Eliza. I know next time we're gonna um, we're gonna do it somewhere else. Hopefully, Google Meet, and hopefully, like as many people that want to join can join because we had so many people that were trying to join. Okay, let me write that down. Brooke. Dot. Advanced. Metal. All right, I got you, boo. Glad to see you guys survived movie night. <laughs> Yes, I'm in Wisconsin. Oh my God, guys, I'm missing the gift. I didn't send a gift goal. Michelle, thank you for the rose. Chrissy, thank you for the heart me. Alyssa, thank you for the heart me. Naomi, thank you for the TGIF and the lover's glasses. Tanya, thank you for the heart me. I forgot to set a gift goal. Oh, it set one for me. Well, I'm going to change that. I didn't want that one. We're going to delete this one and we're going to add... Let's do lightnings to start. You know, I always like to start with a, a small one. Lightnings. Nadine, uh, I wrote you down, Nadine. You're number three. You're number three on the list, Nadine. It gave us the option to boost your Discord, but it was going to take seven boosts to let 150 people. I know. We, ha we got two boosts. It's a smaller one, so it won't be a very flattering pick. Oh, that's okay. If you don't want to send it, you don't have to, but I would love to see. I tried again to move and I, but it didn't let me in. No, Kelly, I'm sorry. I had no idea. I actually even Googled this beforehand. Um, I Googled beforehand to like see if there was a limit on people. And I specifically used this thing in Discord called a stage because it said there wasn't or that the limit was like a thousand or more than a thousand. So I was like, that'll be plenty. I'm not going to have a thousand people come in. Um, and then we went in and it was 50, which was very disappointing. Um, so for our next movie night, we're going to try to use maybe Google Meet because I persevere said that she thinks that that might work. So we're going to like for a bunch of people that could come in. Um, the Discord link is this right here. It's dsc.gg slash antimatrix. That's for TikTok. Uh, YouTube, it is right here in the chat. You woke up at three to make my live? Nadine, I need to tell you that we're not going to be reading stories for like 45 minutes and then you're number three. So it's going to be a while. You should go back to sleep. Are you sure you want to be here? 
I want you to go to sleep. I feel so bad. Tanya, thank you for the 26 lightnings. Naomi, thank you for the 51 lightnings and the 48 lightnings. Unicorn Kitty, thank you for the two tiny dinies. And Robin, thank you for the heart me's. I wish I would have realized you needed seven. I did two boosts and I should have just bought the extra one. Oh, Krista, no, it's okay. Please. Please, please. Hello, Robin. I was behind on the live, so I don't know if you asked about my story. Like right now, Christina? Did you say something about your story that I missed? Let me scroll up. Hold on. I hope you can get to my story. Christina, what is, what's the name of your story? I'll write you down. You're number four. You are number four. Was that the doctor? The eye doctor with my son. Movie night was great, except it was only 50 people, and we have to use a place next time that has lets more people. Scary feelings. Got you. Hi, Bobby. Hello, Murph. In a few years' time, I hope that AI can make short videos of these stories with you narrating. That'd be pretty cool. You saw my video of the haunted asylum? That was me walking over there. Uh, we just got on about 10 minutes ago. I'm going to complain to my brother. He said everyone would be able to join. So in his defense, Mimi, if if I would have done a voice stage, like an audio only, you could have like 10,000 people in there. But because I was sharing my screen, it was different and it only allowed 50. And then if we boosted the server to level two, you could get 150. If we boosted it to level three, it could get 300. Um, but that requires a lot of boosts. Boosts. I posted a pic in general chat and discord. Let me see. Oh my God, I love it. It's so cute. Wait, do you have, is it a barbell? I'd like, for some reason, never even thought of doing a barbell as a, um, as a septum. And I love it. It's so cute. It's a curved barbell. I love it. Do you love it? How much did it hurt you? Because my nose ring was the most painful one. You do have to get on Discord, Regina. I put the link up there a little bit. It's right here, Regina. Septums are pretty easy. Hello, Jess. Hello again. It is so cute, right? I have my septum done. It didn't hurt at all. Oh, okay. Because this, this over here hurt me a fucking lot. I really like that. It's so it's so small and subtle, which I really like because I keep trying like little fake septum hoops here and my nose is big. I do have a I have a big nose and it doesn't look good. But that might be okay. Yes, we are gonna do stories, Dylan. My son said his hurt like crazy. I'm so excited there's a live again tonight. Woo! After this next one won't be till Monday or Tuesday, so um, so enjoy it because I have my kids this weekend. Um, Robin, thank you for the heart me. Gina, thank you for the rose. Persevere, thank you for the heart me. Oh, chicken and quaffles, you're here. Perfect. Side nose just made my eyes water. Did it twice. <gasps> Celine, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the glitch community. Woo! Everybody, welcome C Lynn to the Glitch community on, um, on YouTube. And now we only need ten more members on YouTube to get the next emote. We have to pick a cat. We have three more cats to go. Three more cats. Cats, 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 cats. Shady Lane, that's okay because only fifty people could have joined, so a lot of other people missed it too. It wasn't just you. <laughs> it wasn't just you. Nose, pers nose piercing hurt me way more than belly and tongue. Yes. I also had these ladies done and it hurt more than those ladies. Um, Maddie B, I, so I have two 10 year olds, but technically like one is mine and one is Uncle Matrix's, both from previous marriages, but they're both 10. They're like two weeks apart. Oh my God. Celine. What? Thank you so much for gifting five memberships. I appreciate you so much. Huda got a membership, Steph and Vienna and Sam and Jackie all got gifted memberships. Now we only need five more members to get the next emote. You guys are freaking killing it. Thank you so much, Celin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was very sweet. Jody. thank you for the heart me. I came here from YouTube to tap away. Hello, Silver. 
Shots automatically pops in the brain. Wait, why did I say that? Did I say- was I singing that? I feel like I was. Why was I singing that? What did I do? Where did that come from? Oh my god, I really just don't ever know what's happening. Squirrel! <laughs> my industrial bar in my ear hurts worse, but that's because the guy was new at piercing. Hello, Evie. You had surgery today. I hope you're feeling okay. I pierced my own nose and it took forever. Holy shit, Dana. That must have hurt so much. Francisca, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate you. Welcome to the Glitch community. Everybody, welcome Francisca on TikTok. Hello, Lily. Make sure that everyone has on gifted memberships. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Megan, thank you so much for subscribing on TikTok. Welcome to the Glitch community. Everybody, welcome Megan. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Hello, Coco. Hello, lovely. Hello, Doxy. It was terrifying. <laughs> I pierced my own lip and eyebrow when I was a degenerate teenager. I never pierced anything of my own. I was too scared to do that. Oh, no. Sorry. Not on TikTok. On YouTube, you have to turn a certain thing on to um, be able to receive memberships. On TikTok, I think anyone can get them. Candace, thank you so much for a rose. It's your first gift. Hello. You're absolutely welcome. I've been here for a pretty long time, but from TikTok, I'm subscribed to you there as well, but I'm starting to like YouTube much better. I love it. I love it. Friends on YouTube, we only need five more members to get our next emote and we get to pick from one of the cats. Thank you for the bears, Ruby. Anti-Matrix, please, I need to send you a story. I need to hear others' interpretations. Did you send it to me yet? If anybody wants to send me a story, by the way, you can send them here to antimatrix at gmail.com. Um, that's TikTok is seeing that. YouTube, um, one of my mods can pop it in the chat for you. Oh, my God. My butt. My butt. My butt. My butt, butt, butt. I was in here the other day when once you threw was gifting everyone one, and I still didn't get one. <laughs> that's terrible. Thank you. When you're done sending it, Silver, come back and tell me the name of it so I can write you down on my list. Hello, Ruby. I got on about maybe 15 minutes ago. I'm very thirsty. Hold on. We are going to be reading stories in a little bit. We will probably start stories around... 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so in about 35 minutes, we will be reading stories. If anybody has a story that they'd like me to share, just let me know. I am starting a list. I have four people so far. We normally take about 10 people. I'll never pass by the opportunity to tell you you're gorgeous. Oh, Adrian, thank you. You're so sweet. I also sent you a story. What's the name of your story? I'll write you down. Oh, Katie Joe, I love the cuddle with me. Thank you so much. Wonder Woman, thank you for the heart me. Adrian, TikTok. You sent a story, Chantel. What's the name of your story, Chantel? YouTube. Uh, you said something about brain spikes. What is that? Only asking. Oh, <gasps> Katie Joe, I've wanted to see that one. I'm so happy that you sent that. Thank you. Jans, thank you for the rose. I made it. My five-year-old says, you're listening to the story lady again? <laughs> oh, Krista, awesome. I have a wood burning kit that Uncle Matrix got me for my birthday about three years ago or four years ago and I have yet to use it and I don't know why. I just keep forgetting about it. Oh, thank you, Flipped. Hi, hi, hi. Um, it was really cute. I love that our families know who you are based <laughs> on us watching your lives. <laughs> Make him a wedding gift. That's a good idea. Um, 
YouTube. All my members on YouTube. We're doing a new thing. Katie Joe is on TikTok right now. Um, we're doing a new thing, YouTube members. So part of your membership now is that you get, when you become a member, uh, you get to add one phrase to the eight ball because I can add custom phrases. So you get to add a phrase to the eight ball. So when you guys do the eight ball thing on YouTube, it could be it could be your phrase that comes up. And I think it'll be really funny. So um, <laughs> Turner, you're asking if it's feeling better today. I wonder what it's gonna say. So if you are a member on YouTube right now and you would like to add one, let me know. Everybody gets one, because I don't know how many I can add. So if you're a member, think about it. Let me know what you wanna add and I'll write it down. I'm gonna make a list and I'll add them for next time. In YouTube, if you don't know what we're talking about, if you type exclamation eight ball and then type a question, the eight ball will give you an answer. Wait, where did it go? How come it's not answering you guys? It's mad at you guys from last time. Are you there? Did you guys break it last time? Oh, no, it answered me. It answered me. How come it didn't answer you guys? <laughs> um, Momo Kuki, thank you for the lightning bolt. And Lauren, thank you for the heart meme. When are we getting married? As soon as we plan the wedding, we're just like super lazy. My husband heard you and started singing, singing, talking to me. I love it. Hello, Marina. Marina. What is your glitch in the matrix email for stories again? It is antimatrix at gmail.com. Oh my God, wait, Chantel on YouTube. What was the name of it? <laughs> Did you tell me and I missed it? <laughs> ghost tucking me in. Oh my God, ghost tucking me in. You're welcome. My uh, short story, but glitch for sure. Short story, but glitch for sure. Hello, Dees. Here's my April phrase from TikTok for YouTube. Jessica says, of course. <laughs> you sent the ghost hamster story? We need that. What's the name of it? What's the name of it, Conflicted? Is it ghost hamster? I'm going to write ghost hamster. I bet you that's it. I'm so excited about it. Someone gave to me a subscription yesterday. I didn't see it until today. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, hold on. Uh, Jessica's is... I gotta make another list of these. Hold on, wait. Jessica says, because the it, but the April answers. It says the April says, so it's gonna say the April says. Jessica says, of course. <laughs> Jessica says, of course. Heart eyes, hands. If I remember that, um, Haley, I want to add for sure. For show, is that how you spell it? F A S H O. Okay. Ghost Hamter and three aliens, alien encounters. I'm excited about that. Hello, Caitlin. I want to add, I don't get paid enough for this. Okay. I don't get paid enough for this. I love it. If I miss any of these, please repeat them. Don't ask that. Oh, my God. You asked the April, are aliens real? And it said, don't ask that. <laughs> I want to add that's scary. Remember, normally when you ask an April questions, it's a yes or no answer to a question. Hold on. That's scary. Got it. Hello, Candace. Kelly, thank you for um, sharing the live. 
I swear my mom is a magnet for glitches. I'll have to write that I can remember it too. Uh, Andy, have you owned other pets before the cats? I had two dogs when I was married and I had a parakeet when I was very little and I, his name was Sam and I had, I didn't have, my sister had a water snake. Okay, Katie Joe, sounds good. Free spirit, thank you so much for the heart me. Yakety yak. Don't talk back. Brad, thank you for sharing the live. Hello, free spirit. Wait, I thought you want Jess, I thought you wanted the other one. You gotta pick one. Do you want Jessica says of course, or do you want Jessica's portal friends say not today? Which one do you want? Hello, peanut butter. No, Christina, don't. I'm going to put it. I like it. We're reading stories in probably about 30 minutes or so. Hello, just a football player. Do a vote. Ruby, thank you for the corn. Hey, Shelly. Hello, Erica. <laughs> <laughs> Shan says this was not in the job description wait is that what you so listen I guys I can't change the says like it's always going to say the eight ball says and then it's like the response after that so do you want me to put this is this was not in the job description <laughs> do you want me to put that what about I just work here okay I just, everybody gets one, so don't give me, I, I'm not keeping track, but make sure you only give me one. Yes, yes, okay. Uh, this was not in the job description. Did you really just ask that? <laughs> this is going to make it so much more fun. Can you put bitch, please? Yeah, I think I can. Bitch, please. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Glitch, please. I can put glitch, please. That's a good idea. Glitch, please. Glitch, please. TikTok, I'll be right back. I'm just writing stuff down over here. Um, I think the portal one is more fun, too. I vote for the portal one. Let me write down the portal. Fucking TikTok never see. Can you guys still see me on TikTok? Because TikTok is being weird, man. Hold on, let me write down Jess's. Oh my god, where did it go? Where did the Portal Friends one go? Hold on, I'm paying really hard attention. Oh, there it is. Okay. Jessica's portal friends say not today ghost emoji. Okay. Tracy, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the Glitch Community. Oh, and you're a Glitch Community Plus member, which means you get early access to videos. There's actually one out now that you can watch that people haven't seen yet. Um, everybody, welcome. You guys are already welcoming Tracy, but thank you so much for becoming a member. I appreciate you. We only need four more members on YouTube. On YouTube. Four more members on YouTube to unlock the next emote, which will be one of my cats. One of my cats. Kansas, I still have a couple of spots. What's the name of your story, Kansas? I got you. I'm going to write you down. Hello from Scotland. Hello. Welcome back, Katie Joe. What's going on? Hold on a second. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Is YouTube okay? What is happening? I never have a problem with my YouTube. Visits from above. 
You are number nine. Number nine. I look okay. It cut out a little. Is it back? You're glitching a little for us, but I thought it was our Wi-Fi. It just lagged a few minutes ago. It glitched for a second. Um, hmm. Ruby, thank you for the perfume free spirit. Thank you for the eight lightning bolts. Naomi, thank you for the 50 lightning bolts. And Scooby-Doo, thank you for the heart me. I appreciate you guys so much. It's okay now. Okay. That's weird. That's really weird. You know what? Uncle Matrix adjusted something on my computer to try to help my computer, but maybe it messed it up. Mm. On TikTok, I'm always glitching. That's TikTok. That's not me. I do not have a Spotify. Thank you, Naomi. Hello, PJ's slush stop. You loved the film earlier? Awesome. Diane, welcome to the glitch community. Thank you so much for becoming a member. I appreciate you. Everybody, welcome Diane. Oh my God, guys. Three more YouTube members and we can unlock another emote for both YouTube and TikTok. Is a barbell. <laughs> is a barbell. What is your story? And you are the last one for now because you are number 10. So what is the name of it? I'll write you down. Welcome, Diane. My name has the big thing. Oh, my God. I'm so grateful to whoever gifted me. Spotify says you do. Oh, I have a short podcast on Spotify and Apple Music and all the places. It's like all of the all of the TikToks that I put out with the stories are like in a short. It's called a short cast. It's like a podcast, but not a long one. Um, so, yes, I have that. <laughs> I forgot about that. I forgot. Visit from above. No worries. Thank you for subscribing, Lindsay. The April says, I don't know, but we've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. <gasps> Mimi, I wish, are you a member on YouTube? Like, do you have a, a membership, a subscription membership thing on YouTube? Because if so, I can add that. <laughs> Whenever we say welcome, I think of the headmaster from She's the Man that says welcome, welcome, welcome. I just watched She's the Man the other day and I can't remember that part. You love me on Apple Podcast? <laughs> nice. Well, not subscribed. Um, subscribed, yes. Membership is different. Membership is like a paid thing. Um, is a, is a, is a, what was, did you write your name? You don't have to be a new member. No, you just have to be a, a current member. Crash on YouTube. I think I said thank you for all these things, but I'm not even sure. Did I? Yes, I definitely did. Sue Annie, thank you for the heart. Me, Doxy, Mama, thank you for the bear. Alessandra, thank you for the rose. <laughs> thank you, Rhea. No, the name of the story. The name of the story, Isabella. Thank you, Jenny. It keeps glitching? On YouTube? I can pick hers as mine. Is that what you want to do, Rue? You want to pick hers as yours? Because that one's really funny. We'll we'll do that. Hold on, where is the eight ball says I don't know, but we've been trying to reach you <laughs> about your car's extended warranty. It keeps buffering, guys, on YouTube. Mmm. Shit. Whatever Uncle Matrix just did fucked me up a little bit. He was trying to help me. It's not his fault. Holy crap. Hold on. Uh, hi, Peachy. It just says your name. So, like, this name is a barbell? Not a YouTube subscriber, but the April says that's what she said. Cracks me up. 
AZ, I saw you, but we actually, I already have 10 people written down, so I'm close. The list is closed for right now. And we will see if, uh, oh, it works for you? Yours is fine. Okay, good. Um, so after we read these, we'll see if we have, well, after I read these, I mean, this is going to take us a, a while to read. We're not going to start reading for another like 15 minutes and then, um, and then we have to get through the list, but we'll see what time it is when I'm done with these. And I, I might add more after that. I don't like to overcommit because I, I need to, I try to get off and I need to get off before midnight for me. Um, I'm a YouTube subscriber and I like whoever just said, that's what she said. Okay. So you want, that's what she said for yours. That's what she said. Um, I'm watching YouTube and it has not had any buffering. I'm watching from England. Awesome. Oh, the name is I see dead people. Okay. I see dead people. How many likes? We are at 43,000 likes, TikTok. My YouTube is Tessica Vision. It's the same name as here. We are also streaming on uh, YouTube at the same time, TikTok. So please feel free to come over to YouTube. By the way, thank you for your lives. I know it's tiring, but just so you know, this community makes me feel... I'm a Taurus, Becca. I'm a Taurus. You have not missed any stories yet, Teresa. Less lonely, and then we all talk the same language. Oh, that makes me so happy. Like, that's that's what I'm here for. That's why I'm here. So I'm so happy that that makes you, that it makes you feel that way. Um, There's a, hold on, holy smoke alokes. What's going on over here? Doxy, thank you for the heart puff. Jenny, thank you for the finger heart. Doxy, thank you for the corn and the tiny diny and the bear and the rose and the bear and the love you and the tiny diny. And Alessandra, thank you for the heart me. The lives keep glitching on you. The phrases are for the eight balls. So if the members, uh, if you're a member on YouTube, you get to pick one phrase for the eight ball that I'm going to add afterwards. So you only get to pick one though. <laughs> oh, my Katie Joe. Oh, my God. Uh, Becca, don't happen to know what time you, you're you born. What time I'm born? Is that what you're asking? I was born at 3 o'clock p.m. on May 3rd, 1983. Hello, April. Agreed. I lost most of my friends after leaving my job, so this community has helped me feel less lonely. That makes me happy. Hello, Anna. P.O. Box is, Mojo is right here. There's the P.O. Box right there. They're getting my birth chart. I'm excited about it. I love it. Tell me all about me. Tell me all about me. Auntie, the live chat keeps glitching on me going all gray and I can't see anything. Christina, I'm sorry. I'm not sure why that is. You were born on Friday the 13th, Jess. That explains so much. Bambi, thank you so much for the heart puff. I appreciate. Okay, YouTube. We need three more members to get the next emote. TikTok, we're at 48,000 likes. Keep tapping that screen so maybe we could play the drawing game. And, uh, and we need a lot more lightnings, but that's beside the point. Boom, boom, boom. Becky, thank you so much for the heart me. That's weird, Mandy. I feel like all of mine, Lou, are Taurus. I feel like I'm Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. If that makes sense. <laughs> I do things on my own time. <laughs> Before I forget, 220 around. Oh, Katie Jo, 220. What day is that? It's a Tuesday. Is that right? Guys, February 2nd, around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Katie Joe will be going live from Asher Walton House. 
It's a haunted place. So if you're in Katie Joe, make sure you pin yourself. Uh, TikTok, if you are interested in watching Katie Joe go live from a haunted place, please follow her. She's going to pin herself. Um, and YouTube, this is Katie Joe's TikTok if you want to follow her. February 20, I said second. Shit. February 20th. I said 220. I don't know what I said. February 20th, 20th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. February 20th. 20th. <laughs> Auntie is a Taurus with Virgo rising as per my calculations. Oh, okay. Someone else told me different. Oh, no. Someone told me my sun and my moon maybe were both in Taurus. Or maybe not Taurus, maybe Earth signs. I don't remember. You tell me. You tell me about myself. Wait, is it supposed to be second? It's February 20th, right? February 20th. Okay. You'll know soon. Going to do a thing for you. Oh, Becca. Okay. Definitely going to be posting some videos with background and info. Oh, that would be really great, Katie Joe. I'm a Virgo with Taurus rising. All good on YouTube. I have to post it on my wall about her live, but still keep panicking, thinking I've missed it. <laughs> Verity. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> she likes nature and spirituality. You must be all earth. I, I think I am all. I was told I was all earth, but that could be wrong. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Mara Hart, thank you for the millions of lightning bolts. I appreciate you so much. The movie was good. I'm like all earth too. It's crazy. Guys, I don't know if you saw my TikTok, but I went on a hike today. So I, I, I said hike. I put in a hike. I have the old trails app. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's like an app on your phone and it has like all the trails. It has all the trails. And it has like information about the trails and you can even navigate and stuff like that. Anyway, so I picked a hike to do today. I went to it and I don't like to really call it a hike. I'm going to call it more of a walk because it wasn't really like in the woods. It was like on a paved road and some of it was kind of on the side of the road and some of it went through the woods, but it was still paved. So I don't really know if I really count that as a hike, but um, it went past an old abandoned mental insane asylum, which was, and it was like, I don't understand if it was the one building or if it was like, because there were so many old abandoned buildings there, like so many. And I got such bad, creepy vibes. And I was walking so fast past that, but I made a TikTok with a couple of them in there. You just tapped 4.4K likes. You are amazing. Thank you so much. You're a triple Scorpio. How cold is it there? Today was 50 degrees. And that's so warm for me for right now. I was very excited it was 50. I just wore a sweatshirt. It was the King's Park Asylum. Can you explain how to become a member? Oh, right there. Chris just put in the chat for you. You click on that link. Oh, in in New York, on Long Island. On Long Island. Long Island. Anna, thank you for the 82 lightning bolts. Doxy, thank you for the 11 ice cream cones and the love you. Dolly, thank you for the rose. I'm from Long Island. I'm a full-blown Aquarius, 38 next week. Ooh, hey, Katie, Katie. What's up, Katie, baby? Wisconsin hit like 56. If it's this nice, we're taking the motorcycles out tomorrow. Yes. What do you mean? How do you know if your story didn't get filtered? What does that mean? You're freezing? What is freezing to you? Just out of curiosity. Taurus single mom at home with my 16-year-old Aries daughter. New York, baby. It was higher 50s by me, but I'm sick. I didn't get to enjoy the weather. Aww. Shuna, thank you for the 10 lightning bulbs. Corey, thank you for the roses. The 19, 11, and 7 roses. Guys, we're going to start stories in about 10 minutes. TikTok, if you hit 100 likes before 10 minutes, then we'll play the drawing game first. Otherwise, we'll wait till later. 
We're at 60. We're only at 60K. You guys are slacking with your likes. You snacking. You snacking. You snacking. Well, you might be snacking too. Are you guys snacking? You slacking with your likes. I sent in a story with a picture to you and I didn't know if you got it or if it was sent to spam. Oh, um, I have literally 7,000 stories in my inbox that I have not even read yet. Um, so it probably got to me. And I just, uh, when I make videos of stories, I literally just scroll through random pages and random and I pick random stories because that's like the fairest way I could think about to do it. Um, and on lives, your best bet is to like come onto a live. I already have my list for tonight. I might, I might do more stories depending on how long it takes us to get through these 10. Um, but... Yes, your best bet is to come on a live and uh, have it read live. Oh my God, my butt hurts. You know what? I've been sitting a lot today. Oh, my butt. Munching, munching on some pretzels and chocolate. You're snacking. Everybody tell me, what are you snacking on? Your screen tapper from Amazon? Is that a real thing? Stale Takis. Stress. You're snacking on stress? <laughs> Ooh, tomatoes. That sounds good. Sunflower seeds. Sonic. Womp. Salads. Ice cream. Chick-fil-A. Pudding. Marshmallows. Chips. Squirrels. <laughs> Chocolate milk out of the syrup bottle. <laughs> Snap into a Slim Jim. Oh, yeah. Peanut Butter, thank you so much for sharing the live. Knockoff Oreos, what are they called? I don't know. Barbecue Pop Chips. I'm making enchiladas and rice, just waiting for enchiladas to come out of the oven. Oh, you were saying I had squirrels. <laughs> Unforgettable Lita. Thank you for sharing the live. Mama Jen, thank you for sharing the live. I've got two more cards. I'm done with paid orders, but I still have family to do. Oh my God. You make do you make cards for everyone in your family? Like every for every holiday? Because that's a lot. They're called sandwich cookies. What's my favorite snack? It depends on the day. Guys, when we were watching the movie before, I legitimately ate an entire pint of uh, dairy-free ice cream. And then I had dinner, which was like white rice and this like parm. It's not really parm. It's a, a vegan recipe, but parm and, uh, and tofu. <laughs> So I ate backwards. I ate like a pint of ice cream and then other stuff. No, just the hubs, kids, parents, siblings, and nieces and nephews. That's everyone in your family, boo. That is a lot of people. That's a lot of people for you to make cards for because your cards take a long time. It's not like you're just, you're not just folding a piece of paper in half and drawing something on it, you know? Italiano. Why'd you say Italiano. Mini Heath Bars. Hello, Dylan. I am mostly vegan, microwaved. I eat vegan. I'm going to say I eat vegan 80 to 90% of the time. And uh, I don't, I don't really eat meat at all like almost never ever ever anymore um i haven't in months um but the only thing that i eat sometimes is cheese like i'll have a quesadilla or something kitty is staring you down oh hey kali hi beautiful baby come here come here i can't reach you you have to come up here come here kali Come here. Come up. Come on. Come on. 
Girlfriend, come here. Don't just stare at me. From afar. Come on. You're killing me. You're killing me. I can't reach you. Oh my god, she's killing me. Come here. You want loveys? We're gonna get loveys. See, look at that. See? Say hello to everybody. Say hello, my name is Cauliflower. I'm very mad. Well, she's not mad. She's purring. <gasps> Alina! Thank you so much for becoming a member! Welcome to the Glitch community! I appreciate you, everybody. Welcome, Alina! Guys, we need two more YouTube members for another emoji. Will it be Cauliflower's emoji next? Who will be next? Who will be next? I, Jess is so funny. Not everyone, just all these people. <laughs> I know. Do I get a lot in my P.O. box? No. Uh, I only get stuff sometimes to my P.O. box. I used to get a lot, a lot of random things to my P.O. box, but I get, I get some things now. I still owe you a plant. Oh my God. I didn't realize my, uh, TikTok is scrolled literally all the way up. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hold on. I'm so stoked you showed me your cat. Just wait. Oh, what are you doing? You just hide in your head? You have to chase her for love. <laughs> hey, Maria. This will be uploaded. Uh, this recording will be uploaded tomorrow. I kind of stumbled onto your account. Just wondering what kind of content you do. Not usually up. UK. Hello, colorful. Welcome. Uh, we hang out and then I read people's weird stories about things like glitches in the matrix, aliens, the paranormal and stuff like that. So we're going to start reading stories actually in a few minutes. Hello, Malibo. Can I put you down? I need to, I need to like move up a little bit. Why don't you come here? What if what if you sit right here and you lay down and you hang out with me? You could just sit, sit right here. Right down. See? Look at that. Look at that. Lay down. Come on. Lay down. Look, you can hang out with me on camera. See? We can be next to each other. <laughs> I have our hair all over my face. Okay, how's that? You can stay right here. She's queen of the cats. <laughs> She's like, no, I want your lap. Oh my God. Kitty is YouTube exclusive. Oh, you guys can't see her. Oh, you could barely, you could barely see her on YouTube either right now. She's like in the corner, 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 corner. <laughs> She's in the corner, corner. <laughs> No, you didn't miss anything. We're actually going to start reading in one second. It's two, mm, two more, right? Hold on. Let me double check. I think it's two more memberships on YouTube that we need for the emote, but let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. I need to refresh this. Refresh. Are you leaving? Two more. We need two more members on YouTube and then we can get a new uh, emotes. One of the cats, one of the cats. She's like, no pictures, please. <laughs> Her key face wasn't showing, so now I'm back here to tap. <laughs> oh, uh, Silver, what's the name of it? I have you on the list. I just needed to write down the name of it. Tell me the name of it. 
Hello, Macintosh. Friends, thank you so much for all the gifts you're sending. Um, I'm trying to remember who I already said. Uh, Dolly, okay, Corey, thank you for the roses. Shuna, thank you for the lightnings. Nikki, thank you for the roses. Sham Sham for the roses. Scooby Doo for the lightnings. Doxy for the heart me. SPG Mama for the heart me. Doxy for the team bracelets, the lightning bolts, and the team bracelets and the lightning bolts. Have I read any stories yet? No, I have not. I have not. We're starting in just a second. Tell you what happened with 123. 123 was a scam. Yes. <laughs> they, um, so I followed them back so that afterwards, after the live, I DM'd them just to like say thank you so much. That was very generous of you. I appreciate it. And then they started asking me, they're like, oh, I never wanted anything in return, but uh, if you could send me some of the money back, that would be great. But they were asking for it in pounds. They were like, they want just at least 50 pounds. And then I didn't answer. And then, because I was like, okay, this is a scam. And then I talked to Jess, and she was like, that is a scam. Like, do not send money. And I'm like, I'm not. I'm not sending any money. And then their partner came on and messaged me again. Then they messaged me later and were like, love you. Didn't answer. Then their partner came on and was like, uh, this is this is one two three's partner. I he spent money on my card and I need you to give it back. I need at least five hundred pounds back, please. But you can keep some of it. And I just I just didn't answer. They actually reached out to me today again and said sorry. That's all they said. I still haven't answered. I won't. Hell no. <laughs> Yes, you do blog her. Let me know in Discord that you are like at me in Discord and be like, hey, can I have my role, please? There's actually a whole channel. It's called Role Request. Hello, Marie. Welcome. You knew something seemed off. Yep. I did. I did still get it. I did still get it. They may still be creeping in the live. If you're creeping in the live, don't scam anybody else, please. That's messed up. You guys, we hit a hundred. We hit a hundred. A hundred k. Yeah, you did it. Yes, you did do it. You did. So proud of you, Anna. Woo! Thank you for the two hundred and forty-eight lightning bolts, Mara. Thank you for the twenty lightning bolts, friends. We are so close to hitting the lightning bolt thing. Celine, thank you so much for gifting a membership. Nadine got a membership from Sealand. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. We need one more member on YouTube. And we get a new emote. One more member. <gasps> Never mind. Sealand, thank you so much for gifting another membership. I appreciate you. <gasps> okay. Woo, woo, woo. We're getting another emote. TikTok, we're getting another emote. You won't get it until next time you're live because I can't do it while I'm live with you. But YouTube, you can get it now. You are tofu. Okay, great. Um, we're going to vote on the emote. We're going to vote on the emote. So we have which emote next? We have cauliflower. We have tootie. And we have Natasha. All right, YouTube, you have your poll. TikTok, I'm going to get you your poll. It's going to be a text poll. So hold on one second. Um, edit. We're going to do which emote next? We have cauliflower, Tootie, Natasha. All right. TikTok, you have a poll also. Vote for which cat you would like next. Interesting, Naomi. You need another cat and name it Tofu. <laughs> Confusion is me. Is that the name of your story that I needed to write down before? The poll is a text poll, TikTok. Uh, so it's going to be by the comment section. People are seeing it. They're voting. Guys, Cauliflower is winning on both. And I think it's just because she just came on screen. 
because she's on screen right now, I think. I think. It's either, it should be next to your comment thing, or some people are saying top left corner. Blue box, click it. You just did 10,000 likes. Holy smokes. Oh, it's called Four Evil Demons Tried to Take Me. <gasps> I like that better. <laughs> Four Evil Demons Tried to Take Me. Okay, so we're doing this vote. You found it? Okay, we're doing this vote. And then we're going to YouTube. You're going to get an ad. We're going to play the drawing game. And then we're going to read these stories, friends. We're going to read these stories. Woo! She rarely comes on. She's sending us a message. Princess Kali. She's saying she deserves an emote. She's campaigning. <laughs> you love her name. <laughs> Nick, thank you for sharing the live. Thank you, soccer. That's very sweet. Hello, JJ Punk. <laughs> Persevere. Woo! Thank you so much for sending a subscription on TikTok. Spirit of a Spark, you got a subscription. Everybody welcome Spirit to the Glitch community. Thank you so much, Persevere. Oh, it did, Maggie. That's my song for my grandma. Oh my God, another one? Persevere, thank you so much for sending a subscription. Oh my God, we hit the subscription goal. I have 600 TikTok live subscribers. Holy smokes, Persevere, thank you so much. I know that a lot of those are from 123 and they will fall off in a month, but it's really cool right now to have that many. <laughs> it's very cool right now. You keep voting for Natasha. Thank you so much, Persevere. Hello, Rika. There's a subwave? <gasps> subwave. Kelly Joe. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the Glitch community on YouTube. Everybody, welcome Kelly. Hello, Lindsay. I used to call my uncle's friend Cauliflower. His name is Colin. 14K likes auto clicker. What is an auto clicker and how can people get that to help help us get the likes up? <laughs> how do we do that? Four, no four more subs for the subwave. Nice. You deserve it. You guys are so sweet. You guys are so sweet. Explain why I had a subscription and didn't know until now because people are getting gifted, giving away gifted subscriptions. You're welcome. It was two away, so I sent those two. Thank you so much. Allie Cakes. Hello, my darling. So I got one yesterday from the scam account. Yes, you apparently did. <laughs> Jillian, thank you for following. Jenna, thank you so much for sending a subscription. I appreciate you. Okay, our vote is over. And the winner is... Ding! Cauliflower! You won, Kali! You won! You won, Calls! So excited for you! YouTube, I'm gonna add cauliflower for you and I will have to add it. Let's see, Kali. Kali. Emote. TikTok. Let me add it. Let me add it. Um, okay, give me one second. YouTube, in the meantime, I'm going to give you an ad. <laughs> Let me know what you get. Um, okay. Let's refresh this. Let's get Kali. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, cauliflower. Okay, I'm just gonna put Kali. Select an image. We're going here and we're going. No ad, DoorDash. Oh no, unforgettable, unforgettable. That's what you are. 
Oh, my darling, it's incredible how someone so unforgettable could think that I'm unforgettable, too. All right. Uh, Kali, 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 where are you, Kals? I'm waiting for these to load so I can find it. Thank you, Olivia. <laughs> Uh, Kali, she has a, I, so I told them to give Kali like a bitchy look because she's like the bitchiest cat and I think they did a pretty good job. She looks kind of cute. So YouTube, I just added Kali for you. Um, it may take a minute or two for you to receive her, but you should receive her. Okay. JJ Punk, thank you so much for purging, per <laughs> Thank you so much for purchasing a subscription. I appreciate you. Yes, YouTube. There's Kali. There she is. Kylie, no, you did not. We're gonna we're about to play the um we're about to play the drawing game and then we're gonna read. She's such a little cutie. Little cutie butt tootie. Little. You're going to go over to YouTube and take a look. <laughs> you guys, TikTok, you will have that emote um, next time. I just can't add it while I'm live on TikTok. It doesn't work. Nice, limitless. Nice. It is cute, right? Oh, oh, look. Those are the cats we have so far. We have Odin, Luna, and Kali. The two we have left are Natasha and Tootie. Tootie is in a box. It doesn't top this, though. You guys love the yakky mode. <laughs> All right. I love you, too. She loves boxes. She's a box cat. Like, any box you put down, she's in the box. She's always in a box. So I had them have her sitting in a box. 2D in a box. And Natasha just looks cute and a little mischievous because she's my little mischievous lady. The yak is the best. <laughs> I have to figure out how to make her bigger. I can't really see her. Oh, you do love the yak. I'm gonna get us to 1 million real quick. Wait, Void, did you tell us how you get that thing? How can people get that thing? That's why, darling. Thank you for the hat and mustache. It's incredible. I thought you were saying she's in a box in real life, like no longer alive. What? If one of my cats had passed away, why would I say it like that? <laughs> no. We are actually taking her to the vet, though, on Monday because she lost some weight. And we're not sure why. On Google Play or Apple app. Okay, friends. Apparently, there's a... What is it called? Auto clicker? Auto tapper? You can get on, it's an app you can get that helps you send taps. He said, let me get us to a million real quick. Let's see. Should try it. Auto clicker. I used to use an auto tipper on the other websites. Yay, you got her. You had to exit and re-enter to get it. Prayers for 2D. Yeah, I'll let you guys know. I found on Amazon an actual auto tapper. Like it sits there and does this for you. You're going to download it right now. Is Natasha the one who had surgery? Yes, Natasha is the one who had surgery, but she just had a regular surgery. Yes, I'm actually starting stories in a second. Okay, let's play the game and then let's read. That thing. Why are you singing that? That thing. That thing. That thing. No, that. Wow. I, why can't I remember the melody of that song? What? I can't. I literally can't hear it. I can't hear the notes. Can't hear the notes. I don't think I got it. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. Um. Mm, it's uh. What's your face? Lauren Hill. 
Ooh, careful though. I found this on Google. You will get banned if you use an auto clicker. <gasps> oh, girls, you know you better watch out. That was on. Some guys, some guys were only about that thing, that thing, that thing, that thing, that thing, that thing. I think that's it, right? Is that it? I love her too. Uh, I love Lauren Hill. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Probably a physical clicker is better. That is true. That is true. That's totally right. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Not be belting out the song with you. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's play the drawing game so that we can totally read the stories before everyone falls asleep, including me. Here we go, friends. Here we go now. Here we go now. Here we go now. TikTok. I want to make sure that you can see. All right. What will the first word be? Cauliflower, what should the first word be? What do you think? Pictionary, word generator. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> I'm saying, here we go, here we go. Why are you singing that one? Girls, what's your weakness, man? Okay, then, chillin', chillin', mindin' my business. I sort of looked around, but I couldn't believe this. I swear, I said, my niece, my witness, my brother had a going over so I'm gonna, oh, wicked, wicked. I had to kick it. I'm not shot, so wait. all right, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> all right, I almost said the word out loud. Here we go. Um, patiently waiting for these stories, yawning like crazy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shoot, shoot, ba -doop. Yep, that's happening. This is happening so hard right now. Okay, here we go. We gotta move. We gotta get it moving. First word. Shit. I forgot to do something. So, YouTube, hold on. I say YouTube pulled on because for some reason OBS, uh, when I press control, it changes my scene and I, it's like a hot key and I haven't been able to fix it. Okay. First word. Here we go. Here we go now. Here we go now. Here we go now. Huh? Huh? Ooh. Uh, engine, engine number nine on the New York transit line. If my train falls off the tracks, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Woo. <laughs> is this helpful? <laughs> Do you guys know what this is? Oh my God, somebody got it. Somebody, okay. Somebody got it on TikTok. Okay, somebody, okay. Some people are getting it on TikTok and some people are getting it on, on YouTube. <laughs> Eating corn on the cob, a vape, corn, a crack pipe. Nope. <laughs> okay. Slide whistle. You're close. It's the slide whistle of the band world. It is a trombone. This was a trombone. I promise it was. I promise it was a trombone. Okay, hold on. Next word. Did you get it? Holy shit, how am I going to draw this one? All right, here we go. Oh, why am I still yellow? Hold on. Do, 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 
Okay, you guys are getting what this is. However, it's not the entire thing. So there's this. And then there's like maybe one that like goes like this. And then maybe one that like maybe goes like. <laughs> Shut up, Katie Jell. <laughs> Okay, someone on YouTube is close or and then maybe there's also another thing that maybe does something else that I can't think of right now. Oh, there's one that is like this. Oh, hold on. Oh, okay. TikTok. TikTok's getting it. YouTube is getting it. Yes, friends. Yes, friends. Okay. The answer was amusement park. This is clearly a roller coaster. Um, and this is supposed to be one of those ones with the cups that spins in circles, but I, I didn't get much more detail than that. Um, and I didn't know what else to draw. Then I was just going to draw the pirate ship. That is really good, seriously. I thought you were making fun of me, friends, because none of my drawings are good. And if you think they're good, you need some sleep. <laughs> Hold on a second. I think I missed while I was drawing. I think I missed a member on YouTube. Yes, Numon... Numa Ned Dan Ten Mid Fan. I'm going to call you Numo. Numo, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the Glitch community. I appreciate you, everybody. Welcome, Numon. Um, I can change the background. I'm just drawing. The black box is unnecessary censorship. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Katie Joe. Okay, last one, and then we're reading stories. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, okay. Here we go. I don't know how to draw this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip this one. I'm gonna skip it. I'm gonna skip it. This one. This are this is such a weird word. Okay, we're gonna try this one. Hmm. Okay, let's do like this. And this, and then this, and then, and then this, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know why these arms are so short. Don't come at me this and this is anyone getting this what this is okay kind of kind of and it's this part it's this thing cornhole <laughs> ring bearer put the money in the box what's in the box what's in the box What's in the box? Money. It's not money. It's not money. Uh, it's not money. I'll like put some stuff on here, maybe. Maybe this will help. Is this helping? <laughs> it's not a camera. It's not a camera. Hmm. Oh, oh. Okay. You guys are so close on YouTube. Okay, some people are starting to get close on TikTok. What if we, what if I drew more of this? What if she's giving this? She's giving that. Oh, yes. Okay, some people are getting it. Some people are getting it. I'm going to put everyone out of their misery. The answer, <laughs> this one was a lunch tray. This is a lunch tray. This is an apple. 
I don't know what this is. I was thinking rice, but it's yellow. This is a plate on the tray. That's what the circle is. But I can see how you would think it was money uh, or some kind of transaction or something. But it was lunch tray. Okay, how many did you get correct? And if you did not get them all, which ones did you get wrong? YouTube, I'm going to give you an ad and then we are going to read stories. Oh, a hairnet. That would have been a good idea. That would have been a really good idea if we did a hairnet. Our first story is Olivia on YouTube. Olivia, are you still here, my darling? So we can start your story. Olivia. Yep, you're right there. Two out of three. I got the second one wrong. Two out of three. That was fun. It is fun. It is fun. Okay, sounds good, Jess. The trombone and the lunch tray you didn't get. <laughs> I successfully got all of them wrong. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, we're about to read. Where's a... Where are my little auto-tappers? You're only at 147. I thought you were going to get 10 million real quick. <laughs> Here to tap. Going to put YouTube on the TV. I love it, Monopoly. I love it. Hello, Charger. Okay. Hi. You didn't miss any. We're reading the first one literally right now. Okay, the first one is from Olivia on YouTube. Glowing eyes in the closet. Glowing eyes in the closet. Ooh. Let me find it. Let's find it. Bare necessities. The simple bare necessities. Oh my God, Olivia. No freaking way. This is the second one, guys. This is the second one. Olivia. I have to write it down to email people. Hold on. Olivia, your story is in the YouTube video that is out right now for members and will be out for the public tomorrow at 5 p.m. Your story is already in there. I'm going to read it for you on live because most people haven't heard it yet. But I feel bad that we have two stories now that are in the YouTube video and some of you will have heard them. <laughs> Hold on. We had one last night, too. I guess I'm like randomly picking great stories. Hey, just mags. I hope you feel better, my darling. I know that is so crazy, right? That is so funny. Okay. And I have so, I literally have thousands of stories. How am I like picking the same ones that are in the video? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, but we're going to read it though. Here we go. Let's bring it over here. So I can put it on the screen. Glowing eyes slash lights in my closet. TikTok, have we hit these? Oh, thank God. We hit the, uh, we hit the lightnings. Beautiful Berry, thank you for the 98 lightnings. Anna, thank you for the heart me, Mount Bear. Thank you for the rose. Erica, thank you for the heart me. Robin, thank you for the roses. Tia, thank you for the rose. And now, nope, I didn't mean to pin that. Please ignore that. Um, I'm just going to set up my gift goal here on TikTok. Oh my God. The it's a match is just so cute. Let's do panther paws. Panther paws, panther paws. Paws, paws, paws. It was meant to be. Did you talk about the part in the first story in your YouTube video? It's like an oops of the camera, kind of. Like the camera was down or against you or something. Wait, what? Did you talk about the part in the first story in your new video? It's like an oops of the camera, kind of. I can't remember what the first one was. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mel, I actually already have 10 stories, so we're going to get through these and we'll see where we are. And if I can, I will, uh, we will add more. Katie, thank you so much for the panther paw. Thank you so much, Shauna. They're so pretty. All right. 
Here we go. It looked like you were adjusting it, but you weren't. Are you talking about the same thing Govia is talking about? That's weird. Or this pause. What pause? Oh no, pause. Like panther pause. <laughs> Crafty Devil, thank you for the heart me, Tia. Thank you for the panther pause. If it's blurry on YouTube for you, um, you have to change your resolution on YouTube. YouTube automatically has you on a low resolution. Hi, Crafty Devil. How are you? Okay, hold on. Ooh, my friends. <laughs> Mouse. The cat's name on the bed is Tootie. You're welcome. Cauliflower's emote was well worth the wait. I'm so glad that you like it. It is so cute. It is super cute. Okay. I made you yawn. I'm sorry. Let's read. Glowing eyes in the closet. One, 26, 29. Oh my God. Hi, Andy Matrix. Hi. I feel like I'm writing to a celebrity. No. I absolutely love your videos, everything you do, and just you. Oh, you're so incredibly kind and an excellent storyteller. I'm so happy I found your videos in this community. Thank you. Thank you so much for your kind words. Oh, I love you. But anywho, so I wanted to share my experience. I'm sorry. I wanted to share my weird experience with you and see what you and everyone think. So back in the 1990s, the 1990s, my family lived in a brand new house in a brand new suburb. So you'd think that we'd be safe from any paranormal activities, but apparently not. I didn't know it at the time, but my mother was and had been dealing with sporadic paranormal events from silly things like farting noises in the kitchen <laughs> when baby and my toddler sister were in bed napping and my mom would be alone in the kitchen to objects straight moving on their own and many more I would come to find out years later as a young adult. The farting in the kitchen made me laugh. <laughs> Uh, I was a tiny first or second grader when this happened, but I remember this clear as day. I have no idea why I woke up early morning, still dark outside, but I knew it was morning because of the hallway light coming from under my bedroom door. My mom was and still is a teacher and woke super early in the mornings to get ready. My bedroom door was on the same wall as a large closet with double accordion folding doors that I had left open the night before. My eyes catch something while I'm looking at the light from under the bedroom door. I look over and there are two perfect circles, balls of yellowish slash green light, almost looking like a pair of eyes, but perfectly circular just in the dark of my closet. I shut my eyes immediately and put my head under the blanket, scared and not knowing what I had looked at. I peeked my eyes back out a few seconds later, hoping the glowing balls would be gone, but they weren't. I hid my head one or two more times, thinking surely this is my imagination and it will be gone, and each time I'd look back out, they would still be there. I hit my head I hid my head one more time and gathered all my courage and bolted out of my bed and to my door, not looking at my closet at all. I threw that bedroom door open so hard and fast that my mom came out of the bathroom where she was curling her hair to see what all the commotion was. I sobbed to her that there was something in my closet. She walked me calmly back to my bedroom where we turned on the light and of course nothing but all my clothes and a few random items on a shelf were there. My mom tried to calm me down by saying maybe light was reflecting off of something in my closet but there's no way that could be because it was still dark out so it wasn't light from my window and it couldn't be the hallway light from under the bedroom door because my closet was on the same wall next to it. I just tried to shrug it off, but I still think about it all these years later. I'm 31 now, and to this day, I still will make sure my closet door is shut at night, and so is my daughter's. I had one more final experience with these yellow slash greenish, greenish balls of light as a teenager, but I will leave it here for now. Why? Let me know if you'd like to hear it. Of course we would like to hear it. Thank you so much for reading. Love you so much, Olivia. Thank you for sharing. Okay, first of all, I want to say... 
I think that's crazy that you make sure your closet doors are shut at night. My daughter is the opposite. She needs her closet doors open so she can see if there is something. Hear me out. Nope, I hate sleeping with my closet doors opened. Do you think hiding under the covers actually protects us because we believe it will? Maybe, maybe. I want to hear more. They do want to hear more. I need them all to shut my doors. I didn't read this the other day. It was in a video that I just posted. Yes, most haven't seen it though. Yes, correct. Uh, it's in a video that I literally just put out today on YouTube. Uh, members are getting it today. YouTube Glitch Community Plus members. Um and the public will have it tomorrow. But the person came in and asked me to read it. And I wrote it down not knowing what it was. And so we read it. We read it anyway. Blankets become bunkers in an instant. I need my closet room door shut while I'm sleeping. Covers are magic. <laughs> my closet in my 100-year-old home doesn't have doors. Ugh. I shut all the bedroom doors, even the bathroom door, because of the mirror. Thank you for reading. I'm literally walking out here. You're so cute. Wait, I want to say, Olivia, because I already posted this, uh, you know, to the members, somebody commented and they said that yellowish green eyes are a cat spirit. So I thought that was very interesting. Invisibility cloaks under the blanket, out of sight, out of mind, closed doors equals fear. My room has two closets and neither one has a door. Good evening and hello, Scarlet. Supernatural says otherwise. We close the bedroom door because we got to keep the dog in from destroying the house. I don't have closet doors either. I think that's so crazy. Jackie's Art Crystal and Gem Emporium LLC. Hello and welcome. Welcome to the live. That actually makes me feel so much better. But I want to know about your other one. You saw them again. Interesting. That would be cool to have a cat spirit. Yo, if you think that's cool, please, Glitch Community Plus members, go watch the video. Not right now because you're hanging out with me, but watch the video that I just posted. Everyone else, you'll get to see the video that I just posted on YouTube tomorrow at 5 p.m. And there is a story in there about ghost cats. And I really thought it was cool. I have two closets. I keep them shut. Okay. We are going to vote. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube? Happy face or sad face on tickety, tickety, talkety, talk, talk, talk. And our next story up is Brooke on TikTok. Brooke, are you still here, my darling? Brooke, 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 Brooke. You've seen ghost cats before? I'm keeping my eyeballs out for Brooke. Yes, Brooke is here. Okay. So Stephanie, there are two levels of membership on YouTube. One is the regular Glitch Community uh, member. And then one is Glitch Community Plus. It's like uh, a little bit higher of a membership. And that gets everything that the first one does, plus early access to new videos. Movie night went well, minus the cap at 50 viewers. So I hear I was too afraid to watch. It didn't went really good except for the cap. We're, we're going to try on Google Meet next time. Maybe next time it'll be a movie that you won't be scared to watch. I'm so glad you liked it, Mouse. Okay. Let's get this next story going. Oh my God. Are you freaking kidding me? How did I never know this? On the top. So I always go to check like how many people I have in chats, right? I just like to see what's going on. And so I have to like go to the YouTube thing. We have 131 people in YouTube. That's pretty cool. TikTok, we're also live on YouTube. If you're interested on being uh, live on YouTube instead, if you like it better, the stories are on the screen there and stuff. Um, But I just realized that the... TikTok chat window that I have actually has it at the top. That was the first story. Yes. All right. Let me find this one. Brook dot. Oh, I hate when this happens. I hate when I can't find a story.
Okay, you gave me Brook dot advanced metal, and that is not coming up anywhere. Am I spelling Brook wrong? Where are you, Brook? When did you send it? Let's try that. No, I'm spelling Brook right. Brook dot advanced metal is not coming up anywhere. When did you send it? Do you know? Two days ago, I think maybe three. What was it about? Give me like one word or something or I'll try to search. Holy smokes. Jen, the movie was at, was hours ago. The movie was at 5 p.m., you silly goose. 5 p.m. Eastern. If you're interested, is that what it says? Hmm. A couple of days ago. I wasn't on TikTok. We did it in Discord. You're in Discord, Jen, right? Yeah, you definitely are in Discord. Is it possible for you to just go into your sent mail and just forward it to me? Because I am not finding it. <laughs> I emailed straight to your link. What does that mean? The email address is antimatrix at gmail.com. It doesn't show. It doesn't show in your sent. There's no like link. There's no link for you to send it in. Like you would e just email it in your email. Aw, Brooke. I feel so bad, Brooke. Okay, if you figure it out and you can find it somewhere, if you send it through a link, that, like, I used to have a link and it was like, uh, sometimes when you set direct link, direct, direct to link, your phone doesn't send it if it's not on your iPhone profile. I went to your link and it took me to your email and I emailed everything and it said that's it. <laughs> Persevere. Brooke, I'm so sorry that happened to you. I did I did used to be not like a teacher teacher, but I did used to teach in a daycare. I know I have a teacher vibe. All right, if you ever figure it out, you let me know. I apologize that it's not here. I feel really bad. Um, Nadine on YouTube, are you here? Punched by a demon. My cat went into labor during the movie. We are grand humans. Oh, that's amazing. Are you here, Nadine? The cat looked like a head slowly popping up behind you. <laughs> Hello, J Mac. <laughs> Nadine. Are you here still, Nadine? Nadine, where are you? It does sound familiar, right? Punched by a demon sounds very familiar. We read Punched by an Entity recently. Nadine, that was yours. We read this one already, Goose. Wait, did we read this one? No, we didn't read this one. I found you actually, but are you in, are you here is the question. We read a different punched by something. I have punched by an entity and it's from Nadine, but Nadine is not showing up in the YouTube chat. So, um, and I don't have this labeled that we read it. Okay, so we're gonna, she's not here. 
We're going to skip this. If anyone sees Nadine, we're going to move to Christina on YouTube. Scary feeling. Christina on YouTube, are you here for scary feeling? You're here. All right. When did you send yours? Oh, I found it. Never mind. I found it. Hello, Stiz. I have not. I have not. You remember Punched by a Ghost? We've had a lot of Punched by us, and I love those. They're very interesting. Hello. Why aren't you working? Hello. Oh, my God. I'm going to fucking kill this thing. Holy shit. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Scary feeling. Scary feeling. We are reading Scary Feeling, and we are starting it at 1.40.46. Here we go. Hi, Auntie. Hi. Okay, this one my husband has been dying for me to send you. Three years ago, we lived in this old house that had this really weird feeling, and things would go bump in the night. My husband was working nights, and I would be home alone. I would have some scary feelings, and the hairs on my arms would stand up at random times. Well, one day while my husband was sleeping, I got this uneasy feeling like someone was standing behind me. I had heard that ghosts will appear on camera. So the way my living room was set up, the only thing separating my kitchen from my living room was a half counter and the couch was up against that. So without looking back, I took a picture behind me into the kitchen toward the hallway leading to the back bedrooms. Then I looked at it and standing in the hallway was a man with a top hat just staring at me. I looked back and there was no one there. It freaked me out so bad I woke my husband up and showed him. He thought it was cool, but that was about it. Before you ask, no, I lost the picture. No! Oh, I thought we were going to see the picture. Oh, thanks for reading. I love you and your videos, Christina. Thank you so much for sharing. I really wish that you had the picture. <laughs> we're so mad about it. We're so oh Nadine, here you are. Nadine, I don't think you're caught up on the live, my dear. Make sure that you hit the live button. You seem to be very behind. You too. I honestly didn't even want to see the picture. That's terrifying. She had a picture of the hat man. That was the hat man, bro. That was the hat man. Apparently, the hat man has been seen for many reasons, but one of them is being taken too much Benadryl. Yes. Oh, my God. I think that is so <laughs> bro. I think that is so crazy that you had a picture of the hat man. I really wish you sold the picture. How did you lose it? How did you lose it? Did something delete it off of your phone? That's a crazy story. Thank you for sharing that. We are going to vote. Did you appreciate the story? Nadine, you are definitely behind in the live, honey bun, because I see you now answering a million times that you're here. <laughs> yes or no on YouTube. Did you appreciate that story? Happy face or sad face on TikTok? Changing phones. Oh, man. Yeah, we'll do Nadine next. Did the hat man delete it? Hmm, maybe. Maybe, baby. Oh my God, guys, I've missed so much over here. I'm so sorry I missed so much. Mel, thank you for the heart me. Julie, thank you for the heart me and the perfumes and the finger heart and the roses. Megan, thank you so much for becoming, uh, for subscribing. I appreciate you. Welcome to the Glitch community. TikTok, please welcome Megan to the Glitch community. Brown Sugar, thank you for the heart me and the heart puff. Junie, thank you for the four roses. Spiritual Bliss, thank you for the heart me and the team bracelet. Shani, thank you for the heart me. Just Max, thank you for the heart me. Valerie, thank you for the rose. Holy blah. That was a lot. I'm going to wait a second for Nadine to catch up to the chat before we read because she's still, she's still saying she's here. She's definitely behind. She's so behind. Okay, sounds good, Christina. Please let us know if you find it. <laughs> what do you say when you want to get spirits out of your house? Me, I say only higher dimensional beings of love and light are allowed in and around this house. Everything else is not welcome and needs to leave. That is what I say. Uh, 
I'm going to grab Nadine's story and we're going to wait for her to catch up to the live so that she hears it <laughs> uh, in real time. Okay, I'm going to put red on the live. I'm going to grab Nadine's story. I want to see, I'm just going to search the email address. What you doing, Carl? Um, because I do remember. I'm, just, I'm looking this over because I do remember this. And if I'm searching the email address, um, if I'm searching the email address, I see that Nadine sent two and one was January 20. Oh, we already. Nadine, tell me. Hold on. You gotta be, you have to be like literally shitting me. You have to be shitting me. What do you think I'm gonna say right now, guys? What do you think I'm gonna say about Nadine's story? Uh-huh. It's in the YouTube video that's out right now. It's in the YouTube video. It's in today's video. This is the third one. And these are not like extremely like the most recent stories I'm picking. I'm literally random scrolling. Like this one was sent in January. Like what is happening? <laughs> Do you guys still want to hear it? No one's going to watch my YouTube video. You'll be like, we already, we already read those. We already heard them. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, you still want to hear it. Okay, okay. Please still watch my YouTube video. <laughs> There's seven more still in there that you haven't heard, unless the rest of these are the ones, are those ones. Okay. Um, we don't want to wait. <laughs> you're back. Okay, Nadine, you're good? Nadine, did you, um, we like living the glitches with you. Nadine, did you hear what I just said? <laughs> did you hear what I said? That your, your story is another one that is in the YouTube video that is out right now. And that will be out to the public on Friday. It's a third story that this has happened with. Crazy. The cat is so majestic. <laughs> she is majestic. No, persevere. I didn't. It's on my list tomorrow since it like goes out to the public tomorrow. It's on my list tomorrow to send everyone emails and let them know like, hey, you're going to be in the YouTube video that's coming out today. Crazy. <laughs> Caitlin, you'll know because I will email you and let you know that it's going to be in a video. Okay, we're reading it. We're reading it, though. TikTok, how are we doing on these likes? Are you sucking? Are you doing good? How are we doing? 229. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Don't waste our live time. Let's hear another story. I'm sorry. You are outnumbered. Everybody wants me to read it. You are outnumbered. The universe is giving you a sign that everything is in alignment. I love that. I love that. 
I'm in it now. It will go up. Okay, King. <laughs> Mama Jean, by the way, thank you so much for the panther paw. And Terry, thank you for the heart me. Anti-matrix manifestations. Woo! I've been manifesting on fire lately, guys. Woo! I blame it on all the affirmations that I do and the high vibration I try to keep. I blame it on that. No worries, Persevere. No worries at all. I said no, too. Just another person can submit theirs. Okay, here we go. <laughs> We're reading... It's, uh, it's weird because you sent it twice, but like two versions, but it's the same thing though. One was on January 12th and then one was on January 29th. So the one on January 29th, it's the same story, right? But it's called Attacked by Demons, Ghosts. I still think about Alien Therapist. She's my Roman Empire. Oh my God. That's so funny. <laughs> Oh my God, Sophie. Ooh. My oldest son and I have realized the potential of us manifesting together. It's amazing. Yes. How are you doing that? Talk to me about it, Megan. Well, I, I, I went by your email address. It's It has two stories in it. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It happens all the time. People send uh, multiple times all the time, either on purpose or on accident. I don't even know how it happens sometimes. Thank you for the heart, me. I got my grandma to manifest. She's very skeptical, but believes in manifestation because she's seen it work. Yes, Caitlin. Woo! Friends, I love it. I love it. I love all the manifesting. Vibe high and manifest, my friends. Okay, we're doing it's caught. We're going to say, I'll say punched by a demon. Here we go. Oh, we just read Christina's. I forgot. Okay. Let me get this one over here. Cloud bursting with more than one person. Cloud bursting is so fun. Okay. All right, we are reading Punched by a Demon. 15250. Here we go. Hi, Demetrix. Hi. Firstly, let me say I love your videos. I'm addicted, whether on Instagram or YouTube or TikTok. I'm hooked. I love that. Thank you so much. I have two stories to tell today. The first one I've never spoken about, as my mother is heavy religious and well considering our relationship would not be a good idea. Anyways, here's the first. Back when my son was about a year old, Max, I was a single mom living with my family. I've always been sensitive. I sense spirits, etc., empath and dreams and visions. Anyway, my room was basically part of the lounge converted to a bedroom. So one wall was actually a wall unit dividing the lounge and my room. My son shared uh, my son shared my room with me. And in our room, I had my queen size bed in the center of the room against the wall unit and my son's crib right next to my bed. He used to climb out of the crib into my bed. And I always slept with my door closed. We also had wooden floors throughout the house. This is key. I battled with insomnia and have for many years. So one night at about two to three in the morning, I was lying in bed battling to fall asleep. It was so weird because just as I was falling asleep, that space between awake and asleep, I heard someone walking down the passage. Remember, wooden floors so you hear everything and everyone is asleep. I assumed it was my brother's. It was a very heavy footsteps and he's a very big guy, six foot something. I ignored it and I tried to fall asleep. About five minutes later, I hear someone in the lounge behind the wall unit loudly say Nadine. I was concerned first. Immediately, I said, yes, what's wrong? And no answer. Now this voice saying my name sounded familiar to me, but I couldn't place it if it was male or female or where I knew it from. Figuring though... Mm, figuring... 
Uh, oh, figuring they went back to sleep, I tried to sleep again. Okay. About five minutes later, I heard the voice repeat this about four or five times, each time getting angrier. Eventually, around the sixth time, I got so annoyed and I said, damn it, what do you want from me? Fuck off already. I'm trying to sleep. Excuse the language. Well, whatever this was didn't like what I said. And within seconds, I felt what I can only describe as someone punching me in the back with such force that I flew across my bed and landed on the floor on the other side of my bed. I had a bruise in the center of my back for two weeks. That was so crazy to me. Okay, that second story, second story. Whew. This is, I like literally with such force that you, fl I can't, I can't. Yes, it is, Natalie. It is. It's the third one. I don't know what's happening. It's crazy. Okay, second story. A few years after the first story, my son was four now. My family had moved into a flat in a complex. Uh, he battled with what we assumed were night terrors. This is also the period where my son was officially diagnosed with Asperger's. I firmly believe he is also sensitive to some degree. And I said this in the YouTube video too. I believe that people with things like Asperger's and autism are definitely more sensitive, just naturally. So my son still slept in my bed as he, during an episode, would see things crawling on the ceiling and freak out. It got to the point where we were blocking out windows in the room so that he could actually sleep as we believed it to be night terrors until one night my mother asleep in her bed on the other side of the flat had a strange dream. She never told us all the details. However, we did find out that it felt like someone was sitting on her and choking her not only in her dream, but in real life too. sleep paralysis. Definitely. A few nights after that, my brother, 21 at the time, also with Asperger's and second degree brain damage, woke up freaking out and started pacing the passage at two to three in the morning. When I asked him what was wrong, he said that something woke him up. He couldn't figure out what, but she woke up. Uh, but when he woke up, he saw something that looked almost like a deformed gremlin with a long tail crawl out of the top of his built-in cupboard across the roof and fall onto his bed. And then it looked at him, growled loudly, and proceeded to run across the bed and crawl out in the open window behind his head and disappear. We lived on the second floor. Like, what was that? To this day, I still can't figure out what happened in either story. I still haven't quite figured it out. However, I've now made a rule. If I hear my name called in the middle of the night, I don't answer. Good. If you hear something, no, you did not. As for the second story, we haven't experienced it again. I do hope I get to hear you read my stories. Oh, yeah. Read my stories as I've tried to send this a few times and it simply disappears. Lots of love and light. Yes, I think you were that story you might have been the first story in the youtube video everyone is noping so hard i'm convinced they're actually superhumans in a sense yes i agree never answer never throw the whole house away <laughs> use your words they are powerful yes nope 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 those were super creepy so the first time what the fuck punched you and left a bruise? That is crazy to me. The second time, uh, your mom definitely was having a, a sleep paralysis. So there was definitely something in there. And But what was the thing with the tail? Like a little gremlin with a tail? Have you guys heard of this? This reminds me of another story from a few weeks ago. Some of the stories sometimes are similar. <sighs> Probably because people experience similar things. My contacts are weird. I think they're low-level demons. I've heard of the little animal-like demons. They play tricks. You pissed it off by telling it to fuck off. I know. That was a good story, right? That was a good story. We use our words, but also if we heard something, no, we didn't. I don't know which to do now. <laughs> well, you can do either. It's good to ignore it, right? But if ignoring it maybe like doesn't make it go away, use your words or just use your words from the beginning. Whatever you feel, whatever you feel is going to be good. The bruise was the size of a dinner plate. What? That is really big. Gremlin seriously freaked me out. I would have had a heart attack. Ooh. Noelle, thank you for the heart me. Lana, thank you for the heart me and the team bracelets.
a dinner plate. And here I am just talking to my ghost like they pay rent or something. <laughs> she used her words and she got tossed across the room. That is very true. Well, you know what she, but the words that she used weren't go away. You're not welcome here. Get out of my house. The words were, what the fuck do you want? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> Those are different words. <laughs> Those were different words. <laughs> Do they still live there? Do you still live here, Nadine? The gremlin thing freaked me out as it was what my son was seeing too. Oh my God, that thing is crazy. It noped her when she said she was trying to sleep. I cuss my ghost out all the time, second guessing that decision now. <laughs> I have recurring dreaming of a leprechaun. That's weird. I saw something last year and told it to go away. It was not wanted here, and I haven't seen anything since. That's great. <laughs> what's happening? Oh, what's that one? This is the same thing, just better proportions. And I put agave, peanut butter, and also almonds, so don't just swallow it. Did you? Who just swallows? I don't know if, if you. Been... If I feel something in my mouth, I'm going to chew it. Just give me the one. <laughs> Wait, is it was this in the freezer? No. Everyone's saying hi, DC. Hi, Uncle. Hi, guys. I don't like the smell still. Okay, it's better. Yeah, because I put agave, I put the peanut butter powder. It's very thick. Like it's like Yeah. Hard to get through. Well, it's gonna I put I put it in the freezer this time. Is it in there right now? Yeah. I, have like, I, I made, really, I like the I made consistency. The rest of the yogurt and like everything, and put it in there to make a big batch. So I don't have to make it. I like the consistency though. Uncle Matrix is making like a healthy snack. Wait, what did you put in this? That is uh, protein powder, uh, Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt, agave, and uh, peanut butter the, powder. Yeah, the PB2. The PB2. Yeah, and some almonds for crunch. You don't chew everything you feel in your mouth though. <laughs> look it's you you're so yep. cute i'm everywhere sounds delicious it's definitely better i still don't love it but it's better oh. but thanks for sharing you're bye guys i can't see your face bye guys <laughs> Business. Maybe add fresh fruit. He doesn't really mm -hmm. like fruit. I don't. You just missed a little bit. That's okay. <laughs> oh, you were not looking. I was not looking. I love you. Love you. Bye. Okay, bye. bye. <laughs> um, bananas. He does eat bananas. But he doesn't like fruit with his chocolate. Like he doesn't want fruit in his ice cream or fruit in his chocolate. It's not his thing. Oh, hi, Luna. Hello, Luna Baluna. You saying hello to everybody. Luna, you have an emote. Did you know that? You can't step on my keyboard, boo boo. You can't step on my keyboard, boo boo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm. Calma. Calma, gato. Calma. You can go up there if you want. You just can't step on my keyboard, okay? Luna, Luna, Bobuna, Banana, Fana, Fofuna. Yes, 100%, Jess. Absolutely, you can. Where's Luna? Yes, Char, there you are. There's Luna. Persevere, there's Luna. Everyone's putting Odin in the chat. That's the wrong cat, guys. This is Luna. <laughs> Toonies, what are you doing? Okay, oh, we have to vote. There's Luna. Thank you, YouTube. There's Luna. Thank you, TikTok. <laughs> okay, did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube? Happy face or sad face on TikTok? And next up, we have Adrian on TikTok. Are you still here, Adrian, on TikTok? You're so welcome, Nadine. And it's also in the YouTube video, so you'll see it again. <laughs>
Natasha looked like she was about to jump at your TV. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because I have cat, cat TV on for them, and she does jump at the TV sometimes. Simply Chaos, thank you for the bracelet and the heart me. Michaela, uh, Michaela? I think that's right. Thank you for the rose and the finger heart. You did, Brooke? Okay, I'll take a look in a sec. Adrian. Yo, Adrian. That was really bad. <laughs> I have five cats, Kelly Joe. Cauliflower looks like toothless. What do you mean? She doesn't look toothless. <laughs> Little cow calls. Yo, Adrian. Where are you, Adrian? Toothless the dragon? Oh, is that what you meant? The dragon toothless? I thought you meant like she had no teeth. I don't know who that is. <laughs> What's behind you? A chair? How did it walk behind you? What? Oh, the uh, the back to the chair. She likes to walk across it and sit on it sometimes, actually. <laughs> Adrian, where are you? <laughs> We're squirreling. Squirrel. Squirrel. Oh my god, that last story, guys. That was scary. Woo. Okay, everybody look out for Adrian. And while we look out for Adrian, I'll go back and see if I can find a uh, Brooke's story, because she said she sent it again. Brooke, got you. There's nothing here, Brooke. Brooke, where is it? Brooke. <laughs> oh, it's in white writing. I was like, this is a blank email. The whiting is right. The writing is white. <laughs> I can't see it. Um... Okay, hold on. We're gonna we'll do this. I'll highlight it, and I'll be able to see it when it's highlighted. Hold on, <laughs> Brooke, you're killing me. Taunting demon. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I, I I got it. I'll figure it out. Taunting demon. Oh, Megan, <laughs> the wedding is right. Shut up. <laughs> the wedding is right. Check the video list number four. No, this one isn't. This one isn't. Okay. It's Kansas from TikTok. I came over to YouTube. Hello, Kansas. Friends on YouTube, please make sure that you have backed out and you have liked the live. Give it a thumbs up. Friends on TikTok, make sure you are tapping that screen. We are at 270,000 likes. We could definitely be at more. Keep tapping that screen. You got it. There's 410 of you. Um, okay, guys, keep, uh, keep your eyeballs out for Adrian, but we're going to read Brooks right now. We're going to read Taunting Demon, and it is in white letters. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Here we go. We're starting this at YouTube. You like that story right there? That nice blank page? We're starting this at 2.08.30. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> You're going to bear with me while I highlight the whole thing. The last couple of years have been extremely challenging, exhausting, and particularly negative with my mental. Sometime in the beginning of 2023, an evil entity found its way to me and into my home. I started feeling extreme fits of anger, sorrow, self-loathing, and depression. With being an empath and extra sensitive to other energies and emotions, it took me a while to realize that I was actually being accompanied by a demon. I feel like this happens a lot where when people are having a lot mental issues out of the blue like that, I feel like it's something, it's the energy in the house or something that's attached to somebody. I began hearing strange noises such as scratching, things being moved or dropped, and feeling a presence in my room at night. I began experiencing loud screams as I would drift off to sleep. Wait. Hold on, I have to highlight more. 
Then I would hear an extremely high-pitched sting that seems to get louder as it closed in on me. I would feel a heavy energy walking toward me. The hair on my body is standing straight up as I was frozen in fear. I would eventually get the courage to call upon Jesus and pray the demon away. This repeated for several days. Oh my God, this is terrifying. On the fourth or fifth night is when the demon met me in dreamland face to face. The dream went as follows. Oh my God. I'm just highlighting more. Nope. Getting a lot of nopes and a lot of sprays and a lot of shirtles on YouTube. I appeared in a three-bedroom home. I did not recognize but felt so familiar. As I navigated through that part of the house, I saw the house was filled with so many humans from my life. I was so confused and I knew that I was dreaming. My childhood dog, Rocky, ran past me out the back door. I stared at him stunned. My mom and sister were talking excitedly with each other. I grabbed my sister's arm and I tried to ask what was going on, but she ignored me. I decided to go out the back door where Rocky went. When I stepped outside, it seemed to be a nightmare. Oh, nope. Boop. Back up. When I stepped outside, it seemed to be nighttime. There was a group of teenagers playing electric guitars and singing. I remember feeling super responsible for the house and property and was yelling at them to stop because it was so late and I didn't want to wake the neighbors. They had leather jackets, mohawks, and piercings, full-on rock band vibe. They completely ignored me as well. I found my way. I found my way back into the house, pushing through loads of people, throwing this insane party in my house. Hold on, I got I to gotta highlight some more. I made my way down the hallway to the third bedroom on the left. When I opened the door, I found two familiar faces sitting on a king-size bed right at the entrance of the room. These two particular people have not been a part of my life for many years, but I was super excited to see them. I asked them what they were doing and what was going on, and one of them pointed to the door and told me to read the words on the poster. I turned to the door and to read aloud and found that I couldn't physically say a particular word. I saw it correctly as it was written on the poster, but was not able to speak it. I kept trying, but ended up saying other words that started with the same letter. D, destruction, death, and a few others that were not right. They stared at me while I was struggling to say the correct D word. All of a sudden, I was spun around in a complete circle and brought to a halt abruptly. I was staring at a demon. He was disguised as a girl with dark hair and pigtail braids in a white gown with no face. Oh my God. Got to highlight more. Hold on. In my spirit, I knew this was the demon responsible for the tormenting over the last couple of weeks, and I now knew his name started with a D. Oh. As I looked into his face, it began to swirl and morph. I immediately grabbed his shoulder and began praying loudly and aggressively. I only got about three seconds of words out before my words began to melt. He was ruining my speech, so I couldn't pray. It sounded like drunk gibberish. I closed my eyes and in my head I kept screaming Jesus' name over and over. My eyes popped open and I was awake in my room back in reality. As I lay there for a few seconds trying to catch my breath and process what happened, I realized that my arms hurt and my body was sore and stiff and I couldn't move. I lifted my head to look at my body and what I found was terrifying. What do you mean? My arms were crossed behind my back and my fingers were interlocked. My legs and feet were too with my right leg tightly crossed over my left and my feet twisted up together. Oh my God, I have so many chills right now. Why was your body like that? It felt like I had been bonded that way for a while. I'm not going to lie, that really freaked me out. I got myself loose and back to a normal position. My shoulders and ankles were sore and hurt for about an hour afterwards. When I looked at the clock, it was 1 a.m. Oh my God, so many chills, right? Nope, nope, nope. There's a lot of nopes going on in YouTube right now. Shit, how am I supposed to sleep now? I thought to myself. Hold on. Highlighting. Then in the following days, I saged and prayed over my house with my mom and a friend to rid my home of the demon with the D name. I may have also slept on the couch for a week after. I don't blame you. 
Wait, I think, I think that's it. I think that's it. And it just repeated again. It repeats like four times, <laughs> but I think that's it. That's the end of the story, right? That is the end of the story. Oh my God, Brooke. When did this happen? Like, are you okay now? Is it gone now? What's going on? Are you okay? Everybody needs to know if you're okay. She's okay, but is the demon gone? Oh my god, my eyeballs. Dude, the way that you will... Yes, it's fine now. Oh my god, thank god. Dude. The whole thing is scary, right? The whole thing is scary, but you waking up in this position? Like, what the fuck was that? Why? That is so scary. It sounds like you fought off a possession attempt. Oh, <gasps> Shar, do you think that that's what that was? I cannot believe that happened. That is so scary. You have dreams like that too? The fact that her font was white, did she do that or did something do it? I don't know. Because she sent this and it didn't send to me. I couldn't find it. She had to resend it and then it was white. I don't know, but I beat it. Thank God. I am so glad that you were okay. Oh my God. I didn't make it white. Friends. Friends. Okay, we need to vote. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube? Happy face or sad face on TikTok? That was a good one. Thank you so much for sharing that one, Brooke. That was so good. Adrian, are you back on TikTok or no? We're we still skipping you. Yo, Adrian! That is like contortion. Yes, scary. Yes, it's your first time joining the live. Hello, June. Welcome, welcome. I dreamt of one of the evil characters in the Conjuring movie before watching the Conjuring movie. What? Scary. Spray your spray. You feel like I need to spray my spray? Oh, you know what? I'm not going to spray it right now because Luna's here and I don't want her to be scared and run away because she definitely will. Oh, she's moving. Okay. Adrian! You okay, Tunes? You okay with the spraying? Okay. Only higher dimensional beings of love and light are allowed in and around this house. Everything else is not welcome and needs to get the fuck out. <laughs> Bye, Linda. Later, later. We need to vote, friend. We need to cleanse and spray. <laughs> I was on a Cape May ghost tour and I caught a ghost on my camera. Do you have that picture, J-Mac? If you have that picture, you need to send it. We need to look at it. Auntie, my Adrian said no TikTok for me. He still thinks I'm getting you to call his name. Oh, Megan. <sighs> Woo. All right. Not seeing Adrian. So we're still skipping. So then we are on Chantel on YouTube. Chantel, are you still here, my darling, for ghost talking me in? Oh my God, Jay, send it over and let me know when you send it over because we need to see that. Hello, Chantel. Another Chantel. My sister shared your live with me. Thanks to your sister. Welcome, welcome. Let's all say a prayer or something. I'm so scared right now. You are here. Okay. We have Chantel on TikTok and a Chantel on YouTube. I'm going to share it here. Don't worry. I'm going to share it. Don't worry. Hello from Australia. Hello. Hello, Tanil. Hello, TC. TC. Guys, I'm currently setting up security cameras in my house. Curious to see if we catch anything. Oh, why are you setting up security cameras in your house? Oh, yes, Tiffany. I need to send you a picture of a hand trying to reach my son when he was a baby. Yes, please send that one too. Hello, Sherry. Hey, Moon. The fact that it was trying to get you to say its name. Yes, right. We've had a lot of weird stuff happening recently. Probably because you're going to these haunted places and you're bringing shit home. Well, I hope you're not really bringing shit home. Okay, Chantel, we are reading Chantel's and it is Ghost tucking me in. 
That sounds very scary. <laughs> it sounds super scary. Red on live. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, ba boom, 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 boom. It wanted to take over her body. Woo! Hello, Zulika. I love listening to your page and listening to your stories. It's part of my nighttime routine. I love that. Thank you so much. Hi, welcome. Thank you for being here. Usually it wouldn't want you to know its name. I just remembered I have a photo of my brothers and my cousins in the background and trees was a face, I think. I still have it. Ooh. As long as the people sending the pictures are okay with me putting them in Discord, I can show them here and I and we can also pop them in Discord. Yes, 100%. Okay, let me get Chantel's story. Host tucking me in. I'm very intrigued by this. Very intrigued, Chantel. Okay. Perfect. Okay, we're reading. My little tunes is next to me. We're reading Ghost Tucking Me In, and we're starting it at 2.21.10. Hi, Auntie. Hi. I love your stories and my eight-year-old begs to listen to. Oh my God, that's so funny. I have many experiences, but I'll start with my first ghost tucking me in. I'll start with an experience when I was about eight years old myself. My mom and I were visiting my grandmother who lived on a farm. Their house had three bedrooms, but for whatever reason, they set up a bedroom with my mom. So I was laying in a fold out bed next to my mom. I think I read that wrong. Their house had three bedrooms, but for whatever reason, they set a bed up in a room with my mom. So I was laying in a fold out bed next to my mom. There we go. I don't know why I read that weird. The night is a core uh, memory for me. I woke up to a blanket around my tummy and I went to roll over and pull my blanket up. When I touched a hand with no doubt in my mind, I felt at least three fingers. They were bony and wrinkled feeling and cold. I whipped the blanket up over my face and called out to my mom asking if it was her. As she woke up confused, I knew it wasn't her and I didn't sleep for hours. The next morning, I spoke to her about it and she was a bit confused, but she said as I woke her up, she saw a white slash silvery orb about two to three feet round float out of the door. As I was eight, it scared the crap out of me. But now I believe it was someone looking out for me, tucking me in. Hee hee hee. Thank you. Love you lots. The end. Um. Oh, my God. First, I was scared. The fact that you're saying that the fingers were bony, but just to like wake up and feel someone feels a hand and you being tucked in is really creepy and the orb was two to three feet round like two to three feet that's the biggest orb i've ever heard of that's so crazy but you're right it probably was like a, a good uh maybe like a relative or something that passed away that was like tucking you in but it's still kind of scary <laughs> but it's also kind of sweet it's like nah that's terrifying that is a big orb. You know what I thought of immediately when you said a two to three foot round orb? I thought about Galinda from The Wizard of Oz floating in. The good witch. A grandma. Sweet, hopefully. Yes. That's freaking terrifying. <laughs> if I'm ever an orb, I'll be round two. <laughs> Same. Same Z's. Hi, Carrie. Galinda, you're from Kansas? <laughs> come out, come out wherever you are and meet the young lady who fell from a star. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, we're done. Um, we are voting. That was a very good story. Thank you so much for sharing your story, Chantel. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube. Happy face or sad face on TikTok. 
Please don't ever be done. <laughs> she brings us good news, or haven't you heard? I definitely started too high for my voice. When she fell out of Kansas, a miracle occurred. <laughs> it really was no miracle. What happened was just this. The wind began to switch, the house to pitch, and suddenly the hinges started to unhitch. Just then, a witch, to satisfy an itch, went flying on her broomstick, thumbing for a hitch. And oh, what happened then was rich. The house began to pitch, the kitchen took a set. <laughs> Could have been a great-grandmother of all of mine were alive at the time. Oh, all your grandmothers. Yeah, it could have been a great-grandmother. Or it could have been another kind of relative, or even... It is such a good movie. I can picture this entire scene as you're singing it. <laughs> Are you a good witch or a bad witch? I'm named Auntie M because that was my niece's favorite movie. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I would love to get into voiceovers, crunchy bones. I don't know how. I never sing for people's stuff. Never, ever, never. I love the vibes coming from you tonight. Thank you, M. Squirrel. <laughs> we welcome you to Munchkin Land. We're squirreling. Squirrel! A new one coming out. Don't do that. <laughs> no new ones. Thank you, thank you, thank you, friends. You should do a glitch musical where you just sing us the stories. <laughs> you sent the picture. We need to see the picture. And then after the picture, we are doing... I can't read my handwriting. Silver! Four evil demons tried to take me. Silver, you're still here on TikTok. Please write. Please tell me that you're here. You boss it as a voice actress. I'm going to find out how you go about it. Thank you. I'm Annie Ann. It sounds similar, so I always think of Dorothy. I'm getting the picture. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I could be wrong, but I always equate orbs with non-negative paranormal. Same, Karen. Same. I always see an orb and I think it's a, it's a positive. It's a positive. Like, like it's not a negative paranormal thing. <laughs> Jessica. Agent Crunchy on it. PM Seth McFarlane? Why would I do that? Orbs give good vibes, right? We're saying we don't think orbs are negative ever. Like, we never get a, a bad vibe from orbs. Glitches on Broadway. <laughs> Bunch of ghosts and weird shit dancing. Excuse you. My chair is not a scratching post, friend. Hello, little Natasha. Hello, little Natasha. Come here. Want to come here? You want to say hi? We've had so many cats say hi. You want to come say hi? Oh, you want to come over, Luna? Okay. Okay, Luna. Okay, Luna Patuna. I do need some hands. I do need my hands. All right, we read this one on live. Let me go grab this picture. Uh, Wait, did Silver answer... Silver answer. Silver, are you here, my darling? On TikTok? Your story is going to be next. I feel like negative is the absence of light, like a shadow rather than an orb. Agreed, Kim. Agreed. Hey, Christy. What's up, friends? You are perfect. Okay, let me get this picture. Hold on. Where's the picture? And oh, what happened then was rich. The window where the air conditioners, it looks like two people are looking out the window. All right, hold on. Show picture. Read. Here is the picture, friends. 
they said, uh, hold on. They said the window where the air conditioner is, it looks like two people are looking out the window. Let's zoom right here. What do you guys think? Ow, you're scratching me. Jenny, thank you for the panther paws. Sherry, thank you for the heart me and the heart puff. Tanya, thank you for the bear. Simply Chaos, thank you for all the things. Yes, it looks like two kids, right? I see them. I just got back. Definitely gives me chills. Yes, creepy. It kind of looks like something weird in the window on the left, too. It does look a little weird over here, too. It does look a little weird. Oh, my God. Ooh. I saw them before you said what we were looking for. Oh my god. It looks like a man and a woman. I also see a silhouette of a bird on the left. Above the kid. Oh, you mean here? So did I. Woman on the left, man on the right. Defo, but not a negative feeling, to be honest. My sister has a couple of great pics from a haunted orphanage in Gettysburg. I'll ask her to find them. Yes. You see the bird, too? Ah. Tony Pops. Thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you. Thank you. Crazy. Crazy. Crazy, crazy for okay. Four evil demons tried to take me. I'm excited for this one. I've been excited for every story tonight. I think we've had really good stories tonight, honestly. YouTube, I'm giving you an ad real quick. I love you so much. Tell me what you get. TikTok, what you got? How many likes you got? 340. Okay. We're getting there. We are getting there. 340 is nice. Yes, I saw Silver was here. Thank you. No ad. Ooh, Psycho, you can send that too if you want. Horses. Tame ad, game axe, Instacart, chemist warehouse ad, Budweiser commercial, mind bloom. I think I'm not getting ads because I'm premium. Yes, that's why. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let me write this down. Four evil demons tried to take me. Oh my god. This is crazy. I have photos that would disturb you to the core. Send them. Send them. <laughs> Under Armour. Email them to me. This is my email address. It is antimatrix at gmail.com. TikTok is seeing this. Um, one of my mods, can you please in YouTube put my email address down for people in, in YouTube? Um, how do I send the photos in Discord chit chat? You literally just send them. Just you just attach them in there. Easy peasy lemon squeezer. Easy pre like click the little plus sign and then you can like put a picture in there. Sending them now with a brief background. Yes, I'm excited. Let me know when they're sent after this story. Okay, four. Evil demons tried to take me. We're going to read this right now. We are reading this at 2.34.22. Here we go. Hi, Antimatrix. Hi. I just reached out to you on your live and asked for your email as I've had many experiences that I just cannot explain. Three in total, but today's story is about the very first terrifying astral projection experience. So here it goes. I felt like I woke up in my bedroom. 
I thought I saw someone behind me. It's probably a cat. I was rushing around in an absolute panic. I knew with 100% certainty that my life was in danger. I can't figure out why I felt I was that way, but I knew with absolute certainty. Again, I can't remember why, and I don't remember anything that happened prior to this dream, but I knew I was in intense danger. It felt like I woke up in a complete panic rushing around my current bedroom. I ran to the window that you need to crank open. And the second I became visible in the window, I saw something I will never forget. There were four men standing in a perfect diamond formation on my front walkway. They were wearing black robes that covered everything other than a slit of rectangle around their eyes. The language they were speaking was not human. I am no expert, but I know basic English, French, Spanish, and Italian. It wasn't any of those languages, and I've been around dozens of other languages and dialects. This was not a human language. Before they saw me, they were chatting in a language I've never heard, like it wasn't words. The second they saw me, all four of their heads snapped up to stare at me as I'm standing in from a second story window. Immediately, they switched to English and all said at different times so that it felt jumbled. Hey, Peyton. Hey, where are you going? Come back. We want to talk. This is really scary. I kept hearing that over and over. I was so scared that I couldn't pick up the window crank. I kept trying to pick it up, but it kept falling through my hands like they weren't real. I don't know about all of you, but in Canada, we have little cranks to close the window. I knew I was astral projecting because I couldn't pick up the crank. I ended up trying to run around my bed to my parents' room. There's always a corner of my duvet that sticks out past my bed, and I trip on it constantly. But when I was running away from those beings, I ran around my bed, tripped on the duvet, and hit the ground so hard. I woke up immediately knew that what I had experienced was real, and I carried it with me for quite some time. Please help me figure out what this is. Love your channel and stories the end i have no idea what that is hold on one second i just need to refix myself here no chit chats with demons no chit chats with demons hello just found you on facebook saw the one with the lady in the bathroom telling about her car yes hello welcome welcome i'm glad you're here that is a no from me it chills those people were after you. There's a lot of creepy stories today, right? So many creepy stories today. We have a lot of emotes, a lot of hiding and scared emotes in TikTok. I always heard my name behind me when I was a child, but I always convinced myself that it's my brain. Aliens? You think aliens? Those weren't demons. Those were time travelers or space travelers. You think so? You guys think aliens? Some creepy group or society. I have a story, but they were, so if you were astral projecting, was that your actual room or were you like in a different thing? Or may, I know you're loving them, Chris. Chris loves these ones. Aliens make sense. I don't know what it was, but I don't want to find out at all. It was my room. Have you had any other encounters with them? Did it happen again? I astral project regularly. Probably the same people who get you when you ask the time in a dream. DM'd you a link for voiceover things near you, but it didn't send you because you don't follow. You're talking about on TikTok or on, uh, on Discord? Four or five times? Have they tried to tell, like, take you every time? Does it happen every time? Maybe they were trying to stop you from astral projecting. It is a spooky night. Entities um, on or from a different plane. Yes. I wish you could be live 24 hours a day. I love these. I feel so safe. You feel safe? These are scary. <laughs> I once asked the date, don't ever do that. We have had so many stories about that. I love those stories about asking the date and time. The dream police. A very legit medium I watched tap into her past lives and she was an extraterrestrial in one of them. That's so cool. Thank you so much, Katie, Joe, and Jenny for the for the panther paws. Don't ever do that. I turned on my TV because of that one. My husband's asleep. I had it completely dark. Oh my God, that's too scary, Cassie. 
Katie Joe, thank you for all the Panther posts, my love. I appreciate you. Maybe they want to reach you about your car's extended warranty. Okay, Shelly, we'll see where we're at after we finish the stories, if I can take more. I love learning about my past lives. I've learned about two of them. Why can't you ask the date? For some reason, when you ask the time and date in a dream, the dream people get really mad as in like your dream turns into a fucking terrifying nightmare i know the time doesn't exist but i still don't understand why they get so mad about it hello rachel i just sent creepy photos in the discord chit chat I mean, like, they are maybe working with the government because obviously they don't want us to have higher powers. Yep, they don't. You're right. Anything in a formation sounds like they are on a mission. I don't like that. I don't like that they were saying the same thing over and over, but like at different times. I, like, I was picturing that in my head, like, hey, Peyton, where are you? Hey, where are you going? Hey, Peyton. Hey, Peyton. Hey, Peyton. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you? Hey, Peyton, where are you going? Like, that's friggin' really creepy they know you're not supposed to be there if you ask the time yeah but when people fall asleep and go into their dreams they're not doing it on purpose it's not like they're leaving and trying to fuck things up they know if you ask for the date that you aren't from that dimension you have people say like don't ever ask that and then everything gets so crazy i always know what the date really is somehow i force myself to read the calendar that's crazy i was finding you voiceover opportunities oh no that's okay uh I just followed you. I just followed you back. You should be able to DM me now. Thank you, by the way. I mean, I didn't mean to, but I did because they realize you're lucid. Yeah, but who cares? I asked the time in a dream once and the guy pushed me back and said, get out. And I woke up. What? That's crazy. Thank you, boo-boo. I get chased down by military in dreams all the time. They'll just randomly find me. I'll wake up right after. That's weird. I've never understood that either, but I've never wanted to try. Same. Not wanting to try whatsoever. Wish I could ask the dream people why they have weird ass elevators and broken ones in all of my dreams. I always dream of elevators. Like the weird ones in Willy Wonka. What? I went to ask the time in a dream once, but I chickened out. <laughs> <laughs> I always end dreams with marching military men as though they're after me for something. This is so crazy. The fact that there's declassified documents showing the military uses astral projection. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whoo, this was a good one. Thank you so much for sharing. Let us vote, please. Did you appreciate that story? If I could type yes or no on YouTube, happy face or sad face on TikTok. Uh, this was a really good one. Uh, run on live. Put this one here. Next up, my friends, we have conflicted on YouTube for ghost hamster. Conflicted, are you still here? Yes, you are. There you are. The ghost hamster story, guys. Oh, man, I'm excited about that. Ghost hamster, ghost hamster, won't you be mine, my darling hamster, for all time. Have you ever heard of someone with a story about an old diner with a red classic retro diner? No. Ghost hamster! This is number eight. Also, Adrian, if you ever come in TikTok, let us know. We can still read your story if you come. I need a new goal. Thank you so much. That's because someone named Katie Jill did my goal. My phone just slipped off and landed on my face. Oh, my God. <laughs> that hurts so bad. It hurts so bad because you're never ready for it. You know? You know? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Jelly bean. We are going to do something called, um, we will do, 
What will we do? <laughs> uh, I just don't know what to pick. I'm having like a really hard time figuring out what to pick. Um, Mr. Orange. Let's do Mr. Orange. Okay. Mr. Orange. Mr. Orange. Arantia. Okay. He is cute, isn't he? Who you who are you gonna call? Ghost hamster. <laughs> we did the drawing game uh, in the beginning, and now we're reading these stories. And I have uh, three more to read, and then we can play the drawing game again. Bye, C Villa. Let me find the ghost hamster. Ghost hamster, ghost hamster. Oh, wait, guys, it's even better. It's ghost hamster and my three alien encounters. I'm just going to say it. We have had some great fucking stories tonight, and I am stoked about it, my friends. Ghost hamsters and aliens. All right. I hate dreaming. It's overrated. My mind can't handle it. I think sleeping is overrated. I hate sleeping. I wish we never had to sleep. It's so much wasted time. I could be doing so many things. <laughs> That's why I barely ever sleep and then I'm exhausted all the time. Finally off and ready. How many do we have left? I have three more stories left. Here comes the sun, doo -doo, doo doo Here comes the sun, and I said it's all right. Hamsters hibernate. They might be the souls we see when we astral project. You think we're seeing hamster souls? That's what my Phil says. He wish he didn't sleep. My Phil loves to sleep. He would sleep literally 24-7 if he could. I love sleep. Let's do a quick vote. I want to do a quick vote. Uh, do you like sleep? Wait, no. Do you think sleep is overrated? No. Do you wish we never had to sleep? <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> TikTok, do you wish we never had to sleep? Happy face for yes, sad face for no, that you love sleep. <laughs> I'm pregnant with my third and I'm definitely a hamster. <laughs> Becca, thank you for the bear. Robin, thank you for the heart puffs. The 10 heart puffs. Alyssa, thank you for the 17 bracelets. And anxious artsy mom, thank you for the tiny diny. I hate trying to get to sleep, but once I am, it's nice. Oh, I can fall asleep like that. And I do love at the end of the day, like it is one of my favorite times when I get into bed, like nothing else needs to be done for the day. I snuggle into bed and I'm so cozy and I like look at my TikToks and then I snuggle up and I close my eyes and go to sleep. Like that part's nice. I'm like, that's nice because I'm tired, but I wish I never needed to do that. <laughs> We'd be made to work all day without sleep. No. I have the crazy streams. I love sleep. Sleeping is amazing and refreshing. I hit the pillow and I'm out. My hubby hates it. <laughs> what are the next few stories? Okay, so we're reading Ghost Hamster and Three Alien Encounters. Then we're reading Visit from Above. And then we're reading I See Dead People. The results are in. Oh, okay. Okay, so for both, it was very close. But more people on TikTok like sleep and they do want to sleep. And more people on YouTube wish we didn't have to sleep. Oh, no. No, is no. More people like sleep. All right. More people like sleep. That's okay. Earth angel. Earth angel. Oh my god. 
Oh my God. Okay, Psycho, I'm going to check that after. Let's read this first. Sleep is productive. <laughs> Disagree. <laughs> Disagree. Okay. We're reading Ghost Hamster and Three Alien Encounters, and we are starting it at 2.50.06. Here we go. Hello. Hi. I started following you a few months ago, and I really love your sense of joy and the community you started. Thank you. Ghost Hamster is a pretty quick story. I worked for PetSmart for two years until I met my true calling full-time motherhood, but I digress. Every night after closing, the employees would finish pet care tasks, uh, front the shelves, and generally wait around for the manager to lock up. While fronting, we would always see a skittering little shadow under the shelves. One night, we all saw it under the treat shelf and promptly just looked at each other like, did you just see that? So many workers saw the ghost hamster that it's just a well-known ghost at that store. <laughs> that's, the, that's the ghost hamster one. It was very short. So they worked at PetSmart and there was a little ghost hamster that used, used to like run around the store. I think that's so cute. My three alien experiences. I have always had a connection to spirits, but I never had issues with extraterrestrials until I dated a guy, let's call him G, in college. Once we had gotten very close and G trusted me with his story about how his family was abducted when he was five. I won't go into his story as it is not mine to tell, but after being with him for a while, I had two interactions in one year. I think it's interesting that aliens seem to stick with the same people or the same families or households. The same like people, you know. The first one, we were sleeping in his apartment, a little studio with two windows. To save space, G had lofted the bed so it wasn't like the bed was close to the ground level. I distinctly remember being dead asleep and then being blinded by the most bright light, brighter than headlights or, or searchlights, bright enough to fill the whole studio in blinding light. I reached over to shake G awake and yelled his name and as I was really confused. He wouldn't wake up and eventually... A rotating, rushing sound took over and I couldn't hear myself say his name anymore. Next thing I knew, I was waking up again, but it was still dark outside and G was still asleep. When he woke up, I asked him about the blinding light and why he didn't wake up. He had no idea what I was talking about. Oh my God. I have never told anyone about this before. A few months later, after the light incident, I was driving from college to visit my family. Just an hour and a half drive, not too far from the mis uh, for the Midwest. They don't, an hour and a half is not that far. They don't call it the big sky country for nothing. And it just, it's just uh, lots of hills and sky. As I was about 30 minutes away from my parents' house, I saw something spectacular. Way up in the sky, there was a mass of iridescent geometric shapes swelling and swirling in the sky. My first thought was a flock of birds, but some of the shapes would phase in and out of sight and reappear in the same spot. Excuse me. Natasha, get down. Natasha. I'm so sorry. Hold on. Natasha. Uh, don't talk back to me. Get down. Get down. I love you too. Get down. Hopefully I don't have to get up and go get her again. She's being a bad. She's being a bad kitten. It oh, that little fucker. Little fucker. You little get. Where are you going? She's being so bad. She's trying to get my tree, my macrame tree. I'm so sorry. Okay. The back mouthing from the cat. <laughs> she talks back to me all the time. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, the shapes. My first thought was a flock of birds, but some of the shapes would face in and out of sight and reappear in the same spot. I started slowly uh, slowing down to look at it and the mass slowed with me. I sped up to catch it, and it sped up as well. Then in the blink of my eye, the geometric shapes were all gone. That is really cool. Wait, were they were they small? Were they really big? Were they close to you? I 
I have questions. I have questions before we move on. They were far in the distance. Okay. Lastly, this happened about a year ago. I was eight months pregnant with my second girl. That third trimester exhaustion had me passing out any time my head hit a pillow. My oldest was a little over two years old and we often bed shared. This was one of those nights where she came out of her crib to sleep next to me. I had the body pillow on the edge of the bed for me to cuddle with my big old belly and the toddler to my back. I woke up to a shadow standing over me. I was struggling to move because I was on my side, one arm under me and the other wrapped around the belly. I felt the shadow trying to push something into my mouth. With all the force I could muster, I clamped my jaw shut as tight as I could. With my toddler next to me, I didn't want to wake her. So instead of yelling for my husband, I just maintained steady breathing through clamped teeth. I wrapped my arm around my baby belly even tighter. Then with all my will, moved my arm from under me and started grabbing at the shadow's face to push and fight it off. Oh my God, good for you. Whatever was attacking me felt like one of those stress balloons filled with flour. This happened for a short amount of time, but it felt like forever. Finally, whatever was there disappeared and I was just looking at my apartment ceiling with my arm outstretched. I told my husband the next morning he was baffled. We ended up having a healthy baby girl a month later, but I was terrified that something was going to try to come back and finish what I had fought against. Those are my ghost hamster and alien experiences. Thank you. The end. They're about 100 feet in the air. What was it trying to put in your mouth? Shut something in your mouth? Maybe, nope, nope, nope. Yep. Just joined and I'm immediately like, oh, shit. Me not clamping my mouth shut tight. I almost did that too. That took such a turn. Alien eggs, but in their mouths? Aliens probably stick with the same people probably because they're doing research and want to stick with the same test subjects to not affect with the research. That is probably true. Are you still with the uh, the boyfriend? Hold on, wait. You dated the guy. G, are you still with G? Are you still with G is a question. Not with G, because I think that's interesting that his family had the encounters and then you were staying with him. And so then you had an abduction encounter and then but then they followed you after that. Hi, Lizzie. They're trying to feed a pregnant lady. They knew you were starving. <laughs> Adrian said. About shoving in her mouth, Adrian said, was it your husband? <laughs> oh, my God, Adrian. I so want to meet aliens and chill learning their culture and routines. Anything you're trying to put in my mouth is unwanted. I'm going to need you to pay a light bill. My friend said hat man, but from what I know, the hat man lurks. No, I don't think that was hat man. The hat man is a shadow man. The hat man is a shadow figure with, like, red eyes, right? And I have never seen or touched him but i would assume that you touching him would potentially go right through him or not feel like what you were describing we do all have the filthiest minds i don't think it was hat man i think it was definitely i think it was definitely an alien again but why would they be putting something in your mouth it's so weird when was that and has anything happened to you since these were crazy stories. Thank you so much for sharing. <laughs> Book talk. The headman is usually a watcher. Yes, yes. Yes. That's very true. In like, so he's a, he's like the most famous like sleep paralysis demon, but you'll see, you just see him. Most people just see him. Nothing since. Nothing since. Oh, my God. And you don't remember anything about that first time. Like, you just remember the light and stuff, and then you remember falling asleep and waking up again. You don't remember anything about it? That's crazy. I think to start a project with the baby. 
But why would they go through her mouth? I'm reading two more stories, Jenny. These stories tonight are A1 perfection. We have had all great stories tonight. Um, Jean the Mama, thank you so much for sending. I have two more stories that I'm reading, and then um, I'm not sure if I'm reading any more tonight because I am going to be going to bed soon. Should be mandatory that spirits, soccers, etc., all pay rent, do chores, or something beneficial. I'm dedicated. I'm in the shower listening and occasionally typing. Oh my God, Emmy. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing. Those were amazing, crazy stories. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube? Happy face or sad face on TikTok? Maybe where they are from, babies come out of the mouth. Interesting. When I saw him, it wasn't during sleep paralysis. It doesn't have to be during sleep paralysis, but he is like the most famous. Famous. Mine's going to be lame compared to them. It's not scary. That's okay. We kind of need a break from scary. We need a break from scary Kansas. You are next, by the way. Kansas, visit from above. We're writing you down. I'm going to find your story. Supplement or medicine, maybe. The poll didn't show. Let's try again. There we go. It should have worked now. I'm going to let some of these cats out of this room before I kill them all. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Wait, did I see Adrian come back on TikTok, by the way? The Adrian that just made that soups inappropriate joke. Were you the person that sent the story before that? The short story, but glitch, glitch for sure. I love this community too. Where did you go before, Adrian? We've been looking for you for so long. You were story number five, and we're up to story number 10. <laughs> Where did you go, friends? <laughs> Let's do yours first because it's shorter. And it was, sorry, I had to feed the kids and put them to bed. How dare you be a good mother? The nerve. The nerve. This live is awesome. I'm so glad you're enjoying it, Jay. <laughs> it was Natasha's fault. Huh. Auntie, I got my water. You got yours. Yep. You're right. Good night, Jesse. Wait, guys, can we take a tortilla break for a second? I'm going to take a tortilla break, and then we're going to read Adrian's short one, and we're going to read Visit from Above, and then we're going to play the game, and then I'm going to go to bed. Okay? Okay. Tortilla break. Ad time? Thank you, Tabitha. I love you, YouTube. <laughs> Free Natasha. Hmm. He's still staring at you. Who is? Who's staring at me? That's I see dead people. Oh shit, no. 
<laughs> it's a barbell. I crossed one out already and I got confused. I'm sorry. Yes. So we're reading the short story, the Adrian short story. Then we're reading Visit from Above. And then we're reading I See Dead People. I'm so sorry. It's it's on my list here. I'm just, I'm really silly. I'm so silly. Oh, you're a cat? <laughs> Katie Joe, I'm so proud of you. Joke's on you. It's actually vodka. Mine's not. Mine better not be. I don't drink. Um. Mm, 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 mm. I had tortillas after last night's live. I love it. Do you cover your cams before bed? No. I turn off my computer before bed. That's only one camera. <laughs> my next live is not going to be until... Um... Either Monday or Tuesday. Four and a half years sober. Woo woo! Congrats, friend. How long has it been for me? Mm, I'm trying to think about four years. Hi, Zoe. Thank you for the compliments. Lizzie, thank you for sending your stories. We have three more stories we're reading and then we're playing the drawing game and then I'm going to bed for tonight. But keep them, keep them in mind for, for next time. Or maybe they'll end up in a video. My hubby has five years sober and I have one year. Congratulations, Lady Raven. Nice job. Sober babes, three years for you. Woo! Six and a half years sober. Keep up the great job. Great job to all of you guys. You've never drank in your whole life, Kelly. That is amazing. Nice, Becca. Looking back, aren't you like, who the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah. Nine years sober for you. Nice, Wheezy. Congrats. Congrats to all who are sober and clean. So proud. Me too. We are so proud of you guys. Guys, put some claps in the chat for all of our sober friends. Five months sober, from, but not from alcohol. That's okay. That's still good. Woo! About to be one year sober in a few months. Yes! Nice! Four years, Tabitha. Nice. 13 years. Oh, my God. Amazing. Wait, what's cringy? We got some sober fam in here that brings me so much joy. Oh, you're talking about the old you. One and a half years, eight years. You guys are so amazing. Two and a half years. Fifteen years. Whether you are one day or 15 years, we are proud of you. You're doing so good and we love you so much. Our shit is hard. That's okay, JC. That's okay. What brand of tortilla do I buy? These are, um, Mission Tortillas. I think it's like the, the famous Mission. Six and a half years from booze, 11 from drugs. Nice. You have one day. Good for you, BB. Nice, Mimi. Two years. Whoop, whoop. 35 years, Mandy Joe, your dad. That is so cool. I tried to stop smoking. I got one week and I was a wreck. Kayla, like cigarette smoking or, or devil's lettuce smoking? Even one hour counts. Just keep counting. You can do it. Oh, I know. That's like the reason that I stopped drinking. I was like, why am I even drinking? I don't even like drinking. I feel like shit afterwards. And then as I got older, 
my hangovers were like days. I'm like, no, I'm so good. I don't want to be doing this shit. <laughs> I'm so good. I never wanted to do it anyway. I just did it because I thought I was supposed to. I was crying and laughing at the same time on the floor at work. My only addiction is caffeine. Becca, I get that. Mm-hmm. My addiction is sugar. Sugar is a bad fucking addiction. Okay, we're getting back. Proud of all of you. Love you. My addiction is crystals. I need help. I can't help you there. I can't help you there. I can't. I can't help you. I can't help you. I can't help you there. Sorry. I don't. <laughs> There's more. I can't hold any more, though. <laughs> You're addicted to Legos? These are just the ones that are on my desk. <laughs> That's nothing compared. This is just what's around my desk. I have more. I have more. My sister would love you. <laughs> the older we get, it takes five to six business days to recover from a hangover. No thanks. I can quit smoking and drinking, but I can't French braid my own hair. Same, Cassie. Same. I can't even regular braid my own hair. It's so hard. <laughs> All right. I traded alcohol for perfumes. 300 300 perfumes. Holy shit. Oh, I can't put on lashes either. Mm -mm. Okay. Adrian. Short story, but glitch for sure. Short glitch story. Let me find it. Let me find it. Enjoy it. Oh, here it is. Okay, here we go. Short glitch story. We're starting this at 3, 12, 44. Boom. Hi, Team Matrix. Hi. That was a bad one, sorry. Not too long ago, my husband and I were driving in a pretty rural area. Nailed it. We were on a long stretch of road driving through cornfields when we pulled up behind a very boxy old school car that had a blue roof on the top. It was very old school, and I'm not sure of the material on the roof, but I don't even think that they make cars like that anymore. The car was going so slow that we were going to go around it, but we had a left turn coming up, so we stayed behind it for about a minute. I don't remember the license plate number, but the first letter was an A. We finally made it to our left-hand turn, and I mentioned to my husband, wow, that guy was driving really slowly. Less than a minute later, we pull up to another car, and I kid you not, it was the exact same car. We don't know how it ended up in front of us because there are not many turns on these long cornfield roads, but we were thinking there was a glitch in the matrix. What? I'm trying to even think with the top looks like like i'm trying to think of what the car looks like what story number i am this is story number eight we have two more after this so you saw the one and then you guys made a left-hand turn and then there was another one of the same exact car it couldn't be the same one there's no way jeepers creepers <gasps> stop it that's creepy maybe it was a Maybe you saw one of them from a different timeline. Maybe it went through a portal and came up in front of you. I don't really know, but it definitely sounds glitchy to me. Was it the same plate each time? Yes. Was it the same plate? That's a great question. Thank you. Time traveler. Oh, 
I'm guessing it was like the first Fords with the fabric top. Oh, maybe one was real now and one wasn't. Was it the same plate? Yes, A was the first letter for both. That's crazy, Adrian. I feel like that was definitely a little glitch. Did you appreciate that story? Let us vote on that story. Yes or no on YouTube. Happy face or sad face on TikTok. And now we will be reading Visit from Above. And then we will be reading I See Dead People. And then we will be playing the drawing game. And then I will be going to bed. Boo, 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 doo. Ghost car? Ghost car. Ghost car. Maybe it was a ghost car. You never know. You never, ever, ever know. You never, ever know. You never, ever know. You never, ever know. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Like, literally, please just ignore me. Thank you very much. Visit. Where was the visit? Visit from above. Hey, ass butt. Visit from above. I have not, Alex. I have not. Hello, DJ. Um, AZ, the next time I will be on live will probably be Monday or Tuesday. I have my kiddos this weekend. Okay. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Was giving gone with the wind? <laughs> Wait. Is Gone with the Wind, Scarlet, I just don't give a damn? Or is that another one? You have an ass butt shirt? Oh, <gasps> jelly. No, I didn't, DJ. It is? It's that one? I watched that. You know what? Um, I have to start doing that again. I don't know where my list is. I had made a list of like old movies that I've never seen that I wanted to watch and I started watching them. I watched Casablanca, which was so weird. I feel like it was weird. And I watched Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind was so long, right? You know every line? That's crazy. Okay. We are doing Visit from Above. We will do it at three hours 18 minutes, four seconds. Here we go. Hi, Auntie. Hi. Very big fan. Been watching and following you since the beginning. I love that. You're an OG. So to put things in perspective, my mom and stepdad passed away back in 2018. Stepdad in August due to an accident and my mom in December due to cancer. I'm so sorry. Since they had passed, I hardly dreamt of them. Like ever. Shortly after their passings, my ex and I split. A couple years go by, and I am with a man I call my husband today. He planned to ask me to marry him, but before he did, he wanted to do it right and ask my dad for my hand in marriage. The same day he asked my dad for my hand in marriage, I proceeded to have a dream with my mom and stepdad in it. This is a dream I can never forget. Due to my husband never getting to meet them, they came and visited us and got to know him and his family. Barbecue, laughter, games, and good times. After what felt like hours all of us, uh, of us all talking and spending time with everyone, they both turned to me, gave me hugs, and my mother took my hands and said and told me that it was okay. In that moment in my dream, I had no idea what she meant, but I woke up, sobbing, as I had not gotten a visit from them in a very long time. The next morning, I told my husband about my dream, and of course, all he did was smile and said, well, that was a sweet dream. Confused, I didn't think too much about it. Skip forward to when he proposed to me. At dinner, the night he popped the question, he explained that that night I had the dream about my mom and stepdad. He asked my dad only hours prior to us going to bed. 
That instantly made me cry because now I knew what she meant. I know it sounds crazy, but that dream means everything to me because even being gone, she needed to tell me that she approved of the man that I wanted to spend my life with. Still to this day, I cry when I think of that dream. I wish he would have been able to meet them because if she approved just from above, she would have absolutely fallen in love with him in person. The end. Oh my God, my heart. That was, I'm not crying, you are, I know. Oh, it was hard to get through that without crying. That was such a sweet story. And that doesn't sound crazy that that means everything to you. That is an amazing dream. Yes, who's cutting onions? <laughs> what a great story. So sweet, best dream I've ever had. It sounds like a beautiful dream and how, and how, oh my God. First of all, beautiful dream just in general. And then the fact that they were giving you permission and like you had no idea, but he knew and it was the same day that he asked. Oh my God, that was so beautiful. Treasure that forever. You think they know how everything will turn out, Mimi. I can't get over that part, right? It, it's a visit, not a dream. Yes, it was definitely a visit, not a dream. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing. It is amazing. Who's cutting onions? <laughs> Jeepers Creepers, where'd you get them peeper? Oh, why are you singing that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Literally love that one. We needed that after all the scary stories. We definitely needed that. So thank you so much for that beautiful beautiful story oh, that was from earlier okay let's vote did you appreciate that story if you didn't something is wrong with you and you need to go <laughs> we did need a feel-good story thank you for sending a feel-good story what a freaking special ass visit that is beautiful that is fucking beautiful <laughs> jeepers I'm only saying that because of because of YouTube. Oh, YouTube. How are you doing over there, YouTube? TikTok, how many likes we got? Zero? Ooh, 410. Okay. Okay. Oh, I loved that. I'm labeling it. Great story. Guys, just FYI, like... Oh! I didn't mean to do that. Um... I accidentally deleted it, but then I undid, I undid it. Um, FYI, I save, like, all the stories that I think are really good, I save them in, like, a little folder. So if I end up doing a second book, I will contact you about using your story. So just always, just always keep your eyeballs out. Okay, this is our last story of the night, and then we're going to play the drawing game, and then... I'm going to go to bed. It is called I See Dead People, and it's from Isabel on TikTok. I am going to find it. I'm writing Isabel instead of I see dead people. I see dead people. Yash, Katie. Yash. 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 Okay. Woo! Woo! Boop. A goose. Okay. <laughs> There's not a tub draining in my house. <laughs> Katie Joe. <laughs> Yes, you email them to me. If anyone wants to send stories for future lives or potential future videos, nope. Well, this is my Discord TikTok. I accidentally put the Discord up. If you want to join the Discord, please join the Discord. Um, Hold on. I'll be putting the email up in just a second. If anybody wants to send uh, stories for potential future lives or potential videos, you can send them here, antimatrix at gmail.com. And uh, Chris just put it in the chat in YouTube for you guys. And she put the Discord because she's awesome. <laughs> okay. What is the Discord? As in like, what is Discord? 
Sounds great, Emmys. You are welcome, Katie. You are very welcome. You are so welcome. I don't know what I'm asking. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Let's read our last story and then we're going to play the drawing game. And then Anti Matrix is going to go to bed and actually maybe get some sleep, which is going to be so exciting. Exciting. I wanted to see if it would cut my mic out. So I was like slowly going up. <laughs> it didn't cut out, right? Betty Boop. A boop boop be do. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome, Katie. <laughs> I do hate sleep. But I need it. I've been very tired. I record my sleep at night and I have a few scary recordings if you want them. Yes, we do want them, Christina. We do want them. Stop. That was so good. What, the Betty Boop? <laughs> I have not, OG, but I would like to. By the way... If I'm missing anyone, thank you so much for all the things that you guys are sending. Heart me, team bracelets, roses, Kendall, team bracelets, team bracelets, Alex. Thank you for your first gift, the rose. You always read our stories. Will you ever share one of your dreams with us? If I think of one, I don't have like any, I don't have like a bunch of crazy stuff. As I think of stuff, I do share it with you guys. Yes, Christina. I'm actually very scared to hear them. Can you wait? Can you just give me like what is on them? Is it you talking in your sleep? Is it noises that you're hearing in your house? Can you just give me like an overview? Because I have real bad PTSD from when we listened to a couple of those recordings. Do you guys remember those recordings we listened to that literally scared the fucking shit out of everybody and me? Some are me and some are not. So, I mean, send them. Send them. We're going to try them out. We're going to try them out. I'm way too scared to record my bedroom. Same. <sighs> okay, let's read the last one. Here we go. I see dead people. 32739. 39. Hello, Auntie. Hi. Thank you for this community. Thank you for being a part of this community. Ever since I was very young, I realized I would see things other kids wouldn't, like shadows or animals or people. So when I was around 12 years old, I had this very vivid dream. I've always had them, and some would become reality, so premonitions. Somehow I was on the roof of my house, and I saw spirit running on the roof of the houses. They looked like those characters of The Walking Dead, the zombies, but they appeared and disappeared, kind of like glitching. I understood while I was dreaming that they were bad spirits, just because I don't want to say the D word. Oh, so they were demons. They were demons. Okay. They seemed to be rushing to some houses down two blocks from where my house was. I followed them. Why would you follow them? I followed them as they were rushing from the roofs down to the street where I saw a group of guys playing poker or some type of game. They were drinking and just having fun. One of them was wearing a red shirt and jeans, the other one a black shirt and black shorts, while another one blue shirt and blue jeans. These details are important to remember for later. As soon as the spirits reached them, they started to slay them down with big swords. I saw how they literally decapitated the guy in red. They ran towards the guy in black, hurting him from behind. The other one just kneeled down and accepted his fate. I saw all this and the blood. I was crying and I felt my heart beating so fast while I was covering my mouth so the spirits wouldn't hear me. I felt how a light came from behind me and covered me and all of a sudden it pulled me back to my body while on a split second the bad spirits saw how I was being pulled back as this was happening. I saw them becoming like black smoke and entering into the body of the other men that somehow didn't see before. I remember how these men were dressed. I saw their faces and I recognized them. One of them had a white shirt that when the bad spirit entered him, splashed him with blood. I saw his sleeve on the right side get all red. He rapidly took his shirt off and threw it feet away from the bodies. 
All this happened in seconds as my spirit was getting back to my body where I woke up and my face was full of tears and I felt so tired, like as if I just ran a marathon, I went back to sleep. In the morning, the first thing I did, I told my mom and she told me that it was just a nightmare and not to worry. I responded to her that it felt real. While she was trying to brush it off, our neighbor knocked on the door in a rushing way. My mom went to talk to her while I stayed in the kitchen and I couldn't hear anything. The house where I used to live was huge. My mom came back and she was pale. And she asked me to don't go out and to keep my sister inside. She left with my neighbor and they came back long after. I asked her why she left and why she looked worried. She told me to don't tell anyone my dream, not even my sister's. She told me three guys were slandered in the corner of the street where my dream happened. I think maybe you mean slaughtered. She described how they were dressed and where their bodies were. It was exactly as in my dream. She told me the police were looking for something around the scene of the crime. And when they lifted what they were looking, it was a white shirt with blood. Stop it. (gasps) She was scared for me and told me to don't ever tell anyone since the men who killed them were members of a gang that was getting dangerous big and she was afraid that I saw them so I never told anyone until years later and now to all of you from that day I begged God to stop giving me dreams I was traumatized I told him I was grateful for my gift but I couldn't live seeing spirits doing horrible things I stopped dreaming until I was old enough to handle it I always had supernatural experiences for a while I thought I was going crazy. Even recently, I always tell my people, please don't think I'm crazy. Sorry for the long story. I have more, but this one is still very vivid in my mind. Love you, Auntie. The end. Never apologize for a long story. Oh, my God. Yes, we have a lot of, oh, damn. That's insane. Wow. I think her mom was probably scared they might start looking at her daughter. Yes, definitely was afraid of that. How did mom know it was a gang? And that did it right away. So crazy. Okay, Christina, I'll check them in a second. Um, I love all your quips and quirks. <laughs> Thank you. When we're recordings on, I'd like to go back and listen. It'll be it'll be up by tomorrow. Good one. I like that one. She was in on it. No, she wasn't in on it. That's what people should do. You can ask your guides to do uh, to what you can and can't see 100%. I'm playing. You better be playing. No, that was the last story that I'm reading. How do I choose what makes videos or lives? So lives, literally at the beginning of each live, while we're chatting for the first hour, people are just telling me what stories they sent and, I'm, and I make a list for the live. I normally take like 10 stories. Um, and if we have time for more after I read those, we do more, but normally we do around 10. Um, so just be at the beginning of the live to get on a live. Um, and as far as videos, I literally just, I have thousands of emails in my inbox that I haven't even read yet. And so I literally just scroll randomly through pages and through things. I just literally scroll and I choose randomly because I feel like that's the most fair way to do it. If I ever use your story in a video, I will email you and let you know that it is happening. Is there a thumbnail on this live or am I seeing something? There's always a thumbnail. You're the best storyteller checking on YouTube, out your YouTube now. (laughs) Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Where's my friend whose story this was? I always get a like an hour on do work good to know though thank you you're welcome that was a good story that was crazy that was crazy crazy um what am i guys if you missed any of the stories in this live there you are there you are 
If you missed any of the stories in this live or if you just want to rewatch, this will be up tomorrow on YouTube. The recording will be up tomorrow and the stories will be time stamped. So you are able to just skip to the stories uh, or else you could just put me on and listen to me. A lot of people listen to me in the background. So TikTok, if you are not subscribed to YouTube yet, it would be a great time to do that. My uh, my YouTube is Tessica Vision, same name as my TikTok. So please go and subscribe to there. There's also a new video coming out tomorrow, a YouTube video at 5 p.m. with 10 brand new stories that you haven't heard yet minus three <laughs> that we accidentally read twice um yes we're gonna vote we're, we weren't done don't worry we're gonna vote and we're gonna play the the drawing game i just wanted to let people know where to go for that and friends also please uh join my discord dsc.gg slash anti-matrix and i'm sure chris will ew chris the eight ball is still being so mean <laughs> um I oh join the discord Chris will put it in the chat for you in YouTube and I put it up there for TikTok but the discord there's like 1700 people in there um and also we I have an announcements channel so you will get a notification on your phone when I'm going live when I post a YouTube video and all that kind of stuff it's a good place to be so please come how did you come up with the name Anti-Matrix and Tessica Vision? Tessica Vision I just kind of made. It's like Jessica. I call myself Jessica Tessica a lot. So Tessica Vision. I don't know. I came I came up with that like literally years ago. And Anti-Matrix was actually a name given to me by one of my fans. That was the last story. We're going to play the drawing game though before we go. Um, Discord is an app. Yes. It's free. 100% free. Everyone can join. Um. Uh, in one of my, when I was doing the Glitch in the Matrix series, when TikTok actually allowed me to do that in the beginning for the first, like, many months, um, one of the ones in the beginning, someone called me Angie Matrix, and I used that reply comment, and I, like, read it or whatever, and I was like, I love that the, this person called me Anti Matrix. Like, what a fun name. I really like that. And then everybody just started calling me Anti Matrix. And so that's my name now. But, okay, we are going to vote on that really good story. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube. Happy face or sad face on TikTok. What about the recordings? Oh, we're going to do the recordings. Wait, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere, guys. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Christina sent us the recordings from her bedroom while she's sleeping and we're going to listen to them regretfully. I say regretfully because I think I'm going to be really scared. No, Psycho Doggo, I did not. Let me see if I can download it. Hold on. Can I save it? Save it. Save it. I am the ad lady, Ariana. Hello. I'm scared, Katie Joe. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm so much braver when I'm not at home alone. <laughs> Adrian, thank you for the heart me. Shunot, thank you for the rose, by the way. Okay, hold on. Let me put this here. Oh my God, this is crazy. What a crazy freaking premonition you had. Good one. Good one, good one, good one. Great story. Thank you so much, Isabel. Okay, first of all, I was like, where did YouTube go? There you are. Turn the volume up. No. The first one is funny. Okay. First of all, uh, I'm going to show you guys these pictures. Mojo said that there, uh, not Mojo, Psycho Doggo said that there is a, uh, a face in the trees in the woods. I'm going to show you those first. And then we're going to listen to those recordings. And then we're going to play the, the drawing game. And then I'm going to go to bed. And guess what? I'm not going to be going to bed any earlier than normal. <laughs> Because I always add add things in. Okay. 
Skittle Kittens, you can join Discord by going here, dsc.gg slash antimatrix. Enlightened, thank you so much for your kind words. Okay. Uh... Okay, so the first one... I'm going to put it on the screen, don't worry. Um, this and this. Okay. You guys can see, right? Okay, so apparently there is a face here. Which I can't really tell... But there's another picture where it's like zoomed and circled. I'm going to put that one up in a second. You see it? Yo, am I blind? I have Sometimes I have trouble seeing these things. It's more up. Wait, is it this? I was going by this because you have like this here. So I thought maybe. Let me go to the next one where it's circled so that I'm not confused. Hold on. here I don't see it can you guys help me I saw something on the bottom right <laughs> Tabitha I don't see it either you don't see it you can't see it Someone said, holy shit. Maybe they did. That's not where I saw it originally. It's a half face. You see Groot. I see a tree with like a black part that kind of looks like the shape of a dragon. Am I? You were looking for somewhere else? Where is it? What am I missing? I'm definitely missing it. Sometimes I have trouble. Psycho, where is it exactly? Is it? It's not this, right? I was also looking at the dark spot, but not in the circle. Oh, you see it. Kind of looks like a doll's face. Am I blind, guys? He's peeking from behind the tree. Below the middle red. Behind the white and black part, I see. You sent another photo? Oh, you sent another photo where you drew it. Okay, hold on. Hold the phone. We got another one. Here we go. Oh, here? Like, is this the tree and this is the face? He's peeking. Someone said, see, he's peeking. Yup, that's what I thought I saw. Oh, no, that's not what I saw. It's peeking around the half face. Kind of looks like a mask. I'm not sure, Lou. Let me go back. Hold on. Where's my little arrow? Let me go back and see if I can see it myself. I'm sorry, man. I don't see it by myself. I see when you draw, but then when I, now you see it, we have like half people see it and half people don't see it. So some people are seeing it, but I'm not personally seeing it. Seriously? Yes, yeah, seriously. <laughs> Creepy. It looks like second mass person. I saw it after the drawing. I don't see it. First pick? Go to the first pick? You mean this one?
I'm sorry, guys. I'm not seeing it. One was near the bottom. You saw another face? I don't know, guys. But listen, half the people over here, I have to leave. But hopefully you see it soon. Normally when I show people, it's 50-50 as well. Okay, Psycho Doggo, thank you. All right. Are you guys ready for the recordings? Wah! They're in Discord. Those pictures are in Discord, by the way. So you can go check them out. Um, I'm so scared. I'm a skid. This one is the funny one. Okay, should we start with the funny one? Let's start with the funny one. Mm. All right, here we go. <laughs> Hold on. The land. The land. The land. Okay, that one was just <laughs> just funny. Um, what are these recordings of? So, um, Christina on YouTube sent us over so apparently she has like an app that records her at night like records in her room at night so that one was funny but she said the other ones are are kind of scary so let's see let's see what it picked up it's like what what this thing picked up while she was asleep i'm wearing headphones i almost died was it like super loud now that you didn't listen to us i'm not sure why you showed it to us we said by the log What do you mean? I didn't listen to you. Hi, Nicole. Hi. Did she say go away? I don't know. This one was supposed to be the funny one. Hello, Sebastian. Hello, Dee's. Dee's Dolls Emporium. I don't like that. We said the faces by the log and you didn't listen to the comments. I'm sorry that I didn't see those. My bad. <laughs> I'll look at them again later. So sorry, Wisp. What did... <laughs> Jeez. All right. Um, you didn't listen to us. Gosh. How dare you not read every comment from all 800 plus people. <laughs> all right, let's go. I was saying something about land. I couldn't tell what you were saying. Okay, let's get to the other ones. Wait. This says get back? What is this? Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm gonna play that again. I didn't hear anything. I think it may have been in the beginning. Oh, it was like get back, get back, or get help or something. Wait, 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 hold on. Can you hear? Did you guys hear that? Oh, I don't like that one. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Hold on. Let's let's check out. Let's check out the other ones. Yeah. Wait, was that not you saying what are you all what are you doing? Was that you or not you? That is not you. <gasps> it's like, what are y'all doing? She's saying that's not her.
What are you guys doing? What are y'all doing? You heard yeah, babe? You hear be happy. Be happy. Maybe. Okay, hold on. Is there one more? Okay, wait, these are the last two. <gasps> Stop it. Oh, I don't like that one. Nope. Nope, it's laughing. I don't like that one. I don't like that one. <sighs> Did you hear it? I don't want to play it again. Okay, I'll play it again. Fine. Nope. Not a fan. Not a fan of that one. Wait, there's one more. There's one more. Yes, Laurie, I do. <laughs> that one definitely... That one definitely gave me chills. Okay, wait. One more. Yeah, it was like a forced psycho laugh. What did this one say? And this one's not you either? You're laughing? What do you mean? How are you laughing? Yes, I do, Samantha. Someone else just asked me that, actually. I don't know what that one says. That one's not you? That sounds like that might be you in the background. That's not you? I'm not telling you. That's what it sounded like. Sounds like what happened to you. It's so fuzzy. Is that an air conditioner? I'm not there with you. I heard what happened to you. I heard I'm not telling you. Now I'm scared to go pee. <laughs> no, it's not. I was in the living room. <gasps> she wasn't in the same room. This is from her bedroom and she was in the living room. Stop it. I heard what are you doing here? I'm happy here. You want me to play it again? I'll play it one more time. Throw the bedroom out. <laughs> Throw the whole bedroom out. You think that was a cat? That did not sound like a cat to me. As someone who has five cats, that does not sound like a cat to me. What are you doing here? Okay, the laugh was by far the creepiest. Ooh. Thank you so much for sharing, but also not thank you for sharing. Also, not thank you for sharing. All right, let's make let's make everyone happy. Hold on a second. You couldn't hear the laugh. Oh my god. You heard the words I'm laughing. I didn't hear the words I'm laughing. I just heard I'm hurting you. Wisp, it's okay. Wisp, no worries at all. No worries at all. I'm going to open this picture up again, the first one, and we will look at the log like you were talking about. And then I'm going to do the drawing game, and then I'm going to go to bed. It's, I keep going to bed way past my bedtime. Okay. You said by the log. You were thinking it sounded like a cat? I didn't think so at all. By the log like this log or like this log? 
<laughs> Bahar, yes, I am going to bed. I'm sleepy. <laughs> I'm making you stay up so late. No one's making you. Look under the standing person by the log. Do you mean this? Is that what you mean? Wisp, is this what you meant? Oh, my mouse is in the way. Top girl's legs, but in the black hole area, I saw something. Oh, you saw something here. This definitely, I see like a few different things in this. Where are you pointing? You can't see the arrow? You can't? A jin? Oh, stop it. Wait, Wisp, where are you? Is this what you're talking about? Now it's really cold in my house? No! I see a baby groom. A baby groom. That's the face I saw, the lower one. Christina doesn't have any cats or dogs, by the way, with the voices. Oh, shit. My thing's not scrolled down. You can't see the cursor. Because YouTube can see the cursor. That's what you saw. That's what you saw. Okay. It's just a doll. No, it's not. Nothing. It's nothing. We don't know what it is. It's nothing. Okay. Here we go. Game time. Three last rounds, and then it's bedtime for me. Are you ready? Game time, game time, game time, game time. Here's the game we're gonna play. It's gonna be so much fun today. Will you guess it right, or will you say, hey, I didn't get it right. <laughs> game time! Okay, here we go. Before we play the game, please make sure that you, are, if you are not following me, TikTok, please make sure you follow. If you are not subscribed to me, YouTube, make sure you are subscribed. I love you so much. Okay, ready? Blue skidoo, we can too. <laughs> Tabitha, good luck in the bathroom. You can do it. Groot, they're talking about Groot, like from, uh, you know, from Marvel. Groot. Here's a game that never fails and makes you want to wag your tail. <laughs> okay first one first one hmm okay we're gonna go we're gonna do it like this here we go we're gonna go whoops i didn't mean for this to be green we're gonna go here and here and here and here and here and here and then we're gonna go whoop boop boop we're gonna go Oh, you guys are getting it on TikTok. You're getting it on TikTok. Come on, YouTube. You can get it. <laughs> Bend and snap. <laughs> Bend and snap. Oh, okay, YouTube. Someone got it on YouTube. TikTok, you, a lot of you got it. A lot of you got it. Only one person got it on YouTube so far. Okay, the answer was Dizzy. The answer is Dizzy. All right, get ready for number two. Put your little thinking caps on. This is an easier one. Okay, here we go. Number two. Numero due. Yep. 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 
meow. Meep, meep, meep. Meep, 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 meep. You got it. You guys are getting it. Easy peasy lemon. <laughs> Sound effect drawing. I didn't even know I was doing that. <laughs> that's how you feel every day. Oh my God, that's terrible. The dizzy. <laughs> Loving the sound effects. You guys got this one was easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's a uh, eraser. Eraser. Okay. One more. The fuck can I? I can't draw that. No. No. Um. All right. God, this is going to be hard. Okay, let's try. Do we try this one? All right, we're going to try. We're going to try it. I can tell the Southern Hemisphere peeps in here calling it a rubber. A rubber is a condom. <laughs> Who calls an eraser a rubber? <laughs> I'm... <laughs> it can't be worse than the yak. British people? <laughs> it's also an eraser. Disagree. Anti-wisp responded. What, what are you? I just want to say thank you. Lots don't understand autism, but you heard me. Of course. Of course. Absolutely. I have a, I have a nephew who's autistic. I have a neighbor who's autistic. Two neighbors that are autistic. Um, I'm a little tiny. I'm a little teensy tiny bit myself. And so is Uncle Matrix. In Spanish, it translates as rubber. Okay, we're going to try it. We're going to try it. You're very welcome. Okay. I'm really nervous. Oh, shit. If you guys got amusement park, I feel like you can get this one. Let's try again. Oh, Katie Joe, thank you for the money gun. And Shuna, thank you for the little crown and the rose and, and, and stuff. Okay. We're going to go like this. This might be easier to do like this. So this one will be. Nope. This one will be. Okay, you guys are getting it. You guys are already getting it, TikTok. YouTube, you're slow tonight. Samantha, oh, thank you so much for the super sticker. I appreciate you so much. All right, you guys are getting it now. You guys are getting it now. The word was seasons. Actually, it was season, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. Because I didn't know how else to draw this besides drawing all the seasons. Okay, how many did you get? And if you did not get them all, what did you get wrong? Please let me know. And then we are going to be saying goodnight. In the meantime, I love and appreciate all of my friends. Thank you so much for coming here. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for chatting. Thank you for voting. Thank you for sending gifts and subscriptions and memberships. Um... One out of three, you only guessed seasons. 
Thank you to my mods for modding, you guys. Freaking rock. Thank you all for being you. I love you so much. I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful weekend. If you're not following, please follow. If you're not subscribed on YouTube, please subscribe on YouTube if you missed any of this. Or if you want to rewatch, this recording will be on YouTube tomorrow um, by the latest. So I actually might just put it up tonight. It takes me five seconds to do. I don't know why I don't just do this after the live because it's already recorded. I just have to like add the time, Samson. I don't know. But anyway, it'll be up by tomorrow. So make sure you're subscribed to me on YouTube. Tessica Vision, same name is here. Plus, I do have a new YouTube video coming out tomorrow at 5 p.m. with 10 brand new stories you have not heard yet, except for the couple that we accidentally read on live today, <laughs> which was crazy. Um, Glitch Community Plus members on YouTube, you have already seen the video. You already have access because it's out early for Glitch Community Plus members. Um, what else? What else? What else? Please, if you have any stories that you want to send for future lives or... Um, videos possible videos you can send them to antimatrix at gmail.com chris will be putting everything probably in the youtube chat for you i'm pointing up for tiktok um please also join the discord if you want to know when i'm going live when i'm posting youtube videos and if you want to hang out with like-minded individuals we have over 1700 people it's completely free everyone is welcome to join please join this is the discord it's dsc.gg slash antimatrix somebody can pop that in youtube as well i'm not sure if chris is i feel like maybe the um YouTube is slow, but there's the Discord, and here is the email. Um, yes, please come and hang out with us in Discord. And if you are a TikTok Live subscriber or a YouTube member and you have not told me already, please, in Discord, there is a channel called Roll Request. Please let me know that you are a TikTok Live subscriber or a YouTube member so that I can give you your special color and role in Discord and access to the members only chat. The next time I will be live will probably be Monday or Tuesday. So look out for that. Um, also, if you go to the link in my bio, tessicavision.com, <clears throat> Uh, you can see all my other links, including my merch. Please check out my merch and other things. <laughs> so, uh, yes, I hope you all have a great weekend and I love you so much. And thank you for being here and thank you for your support. As always, you guys are amazing and I love this community. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.